Hi, everybody. Thank you for being here. Let me get my chat up. Say hi, hi when Sherry. you come in. I see Miss Sherry. I do, I do. I have got <laughs> a pile in That's front of so me. I'm funny. trying to. I have never noticed this before, but okay, it went away. But when we first opened, you know, up at the top where it shows you how many people are in Facebook and how many people are signing in. When we mm -hmm. first opened that up, it had my little Wi-Fi signal. You know how it shows how many bars you have? That's mm -hmm. what it was showing up there. That's weird. I've never seen that before. How are you, Miss Sherry? Awesome. Say hi awesome. as you come in. I did put a post up row um, a few minutes ago to uh, remind everybody that we're over here on Simply Roberta's Treasures tonight. I meant to go and add a link, but I realized it was late when I started to do that. Let me go add a link. I, I, I just, I was so caught up in everything <laughs> I'm doing. It. It's like I was in another world. Cindy, do you need more of these black glass beads? What did you need that for? Um, which black glass beads? The, um, pretty. These just go over your head, but they are black glass. I guess they're black glass. These are real pearls too. Before I put it out there, I no. Um, I think. I think what I needed them for, I've already done. So I think I'm good. Hey, Miss Angela, how are you? All right, so I added a link to the post to for your channel. I'm adding that now. I just realized you can go in and um, edit those. Okie dokie. I have got okay. more. <laughs> I can't believe what I have in front of me. Just a bunch of everything. So how has everyone been since Monday? Actually, if you've been over with us on um, Marzena's, Marzena and Stephen, her birthday bash. Yes, we were there on Monday. God, that seems like so long ago already, right? Doesn't it? In a while. I see we do have a few people signing in. Say hi when you come in, guys. Let us know you're here. And if you're wondering what this air up bottle is doing on my table, I finally got that in today. And so I uploaded a air up review on these air up flavored water bottles. So I did a review on my channel. It'll be under the video category, not the live category. So if y'all want to go watch that later, go check it out. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorting 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 no sorting more talking less sorting, sorting, sorting. <laughs> tell her no sorting so much stuff to put out that there. was fun on on monday sherry having all those uh i love when we do those where we have so many different sellers come in because you get such a wide variety of jewelry and different items plus you get a you get to meet a lot of people in the chat that you've never met before coming in from the other channels. So that's kind of cool too. Um, but always fun. Always, always fun. And of anyway. course, getting to wish somebody happy birthday on their birthday is always a plus too. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. So I've kind of decided, um, even though the E6000 works pretty good for marcasites, I'm kind of deciding that it doesn't work so good for other things, other jewelry things. So definitely think I am um, going to figure out whether I like, like that glue or not. I might even do a review on the glue, let you all know how I feel about the glue that Roberta recommended. Because I, uh, I like that glue. Well, let's review it then. 
because that's one of the things everybody's always asking me, what should I use to replace rhinestones or marcasites or whatever? So we, uh, I maybe pour it right on the item. I put it on paper and use a, a, a needle. Oh, no, you can't pour anything right on the item or you'd be clean and glue off for days. I think that's the biggest thing I don't like about the E6000 is it's so hard just to get a little tiny dab where you want it. Um, you know, and it's so it's really hard to use. But if you can get just a pinpoint dab of it in there because it kind of it's so thick. So when you try to get just that tiny little bit you get this big long stringer behind it i've gotten so i just take the scissors and cut it off and now i have a really gummed up pair of scissors <laughs> but it does help get just that pinpoint amount on there okay we got nine people in we are starting a little bit late so um I apologize. Probably a lot of people are still looking for us because we start or we're looking for us earlier. Not our usual six o'clock. No, we were kind of crazy today. We uh, yes, orange <laughs> in the fire. Yeah, both of us. I know. And then we spent all that time on the phone, and we were jewelry sourcing. So. I did everything but what I should have been doing today, but I'll do that after the video. So I got to get my um, invoicing done. I do have most of it ready to ship. I just got to do the invoicing tonight. I got everybody shipped today that paid. It went out today. It was a little late, but I, it is out now. And I appreciate you so much. Yeah, it was gonna. Um, that's why we decided to actually delay the video a little bit so we could finish what we were doing. And then I ended up, my water bottle came in and I got all excited and had to do a review before I, I used the bottle. So what you were talking about. Hmm? I couldn't imagine what you were talking about. I figured if it was something fancy schmancy, Samantha would have had one. Oh, she'll probably want one after you show her the video. Um, this one, I bought one of the more expensive ones. There are some that are a lot more affordable than this one. But I, I also bought the deluxe package too. So it came with like nine of those, uh, nine of the AirPods with it, the fruit pods with it. And I got the stainless steel because I am... Nothing is indestructible when it's in my hands. So <laughs> I got one. I got one that I'm pretty sure looks pretty indestructible. So you can get them made out of, you know, other materials. But the stainless steel one's a little on the more expensive side. But they're not bad considering um, the health benefits are going to, if you like the fruity scents without adding all of that sugar and other stuff, artificial fruit into your water. Um, you're really just drinking plain water. The bottle just spools your nose into thinking you are drinking a fruit flavored water. And you know, the health benefits of all that extra water you will be drinking, I think in the long run is worth it. Plus those, each one of those little pods, there's three in a pack. Each one of them lasts for more than a week. If you drink a lot of, um, water, it will last you a week. If you don't drink a okay. whole lot of water, it'll probably last you longer. Well, um, do you have to order the packets online or do you find yes, them? Yes, they don't have them. They have the water bottles on Amazon, but they don't have the Air Up brand. So, and I can't speak for any of the other brands, but I do like the Air Up brand. But they are on, um, you just have to Google Air Up and you have to buy it from their site. Plus, there's a lot of, there's a couple of YouTubers that are sponsored by Air Up so you can, um, get them through their channel, but I went to the site and I didn't see any more of a discount ordering it from the site or ordering it from the um, YouTubers. You know, usually when they are sponsored, they'll give them some sort of a discount. I didn't see any discount difference. Well, but it is free shipping. If you spend more than um, $49, it's free shipping. I believe it was $49. It might have been free shipping all the way around, but um, you know, the pods, it's like, well, how, 
yeah. so, somewhere between nine ninety nine and twelve ninety nine for a three pack of the pods, and those are going to last you almost a month. That's what I was going to say. How much? How long does one pod last? Um, almost a week on one pod. And sometimes for me, it probably will last me probably a little under a week. But if you're not a big, big water drinker, it'll probably last you even longer. Hmm. I don't know. I'll look into it. Yeah, um, I'm happy with it so far. I'm going to try some of the different flavors. So, All right, guys, enough about water bottles. Let's get into the jewelry row. All righty. Where tonight is Wednesday, we're going to go $1 increments till we get to 50. Then it goes up to five. That's on costume jewelry. And uh, let's just get going. All right. But that's only on costume jewelry. We still do $2 bid increments on sterling silver. Mm hmm I, I don't know that I'll show any. I mean, I've got so much costume out tonight. I'll probably just stick with costume, but I might do a piece here today. I might just do it. So, Cindy, why don't you go first? Oh, because I don't have anything sitting out here, but let me see what I can find. Well, I've got some stones out here. Okay, let's see what I can find. Go ahead and do the stones yet. Well, first of all, I have this little lot of this sort of uh, necklaces. I'm going to do this at a lot, and I'm going to start it at $6. There's quite a few. This is an anklet. Uh, I don't know. I didn't test any of this. It could be liquid silver, or it might not be. But these are those little, like, tortoiseshell type things. And little cute little... Uh, native native uh, doodad on it. These are coral. Like I said, I didn't test anything. Those are carved stones. So these are pretty. They might be stir. Well, I'm not going to say this sterling. Let's just say they're not sterling. That way I don't have to get in trouble. This is really pretty. Um, one of these are broken. But you could use these other parts for redoing. They're not up there on yours. Let's get you up there. Okay, starting bit of six dollars. I gotta open up the chat. Yeah, so it looks like I've got my laptop in a different area, so I cannot see it. And then here's the last one. It's all these type of uh, beads on there. I'm just not real familiar. So um, six dollars on all that. And if I find any more, I'll throw it in. Sorry, I, I didn't have that. Um, muted i'm opening the chat and i didn't have it muted i'm sorry all right guys looking for six dollars on that really nice got some a little bit of he she a little bit of everything on there you know what that one is tortoise shell actually here is an example right here of the difference between the olive shell and the tortoise shell so i have people ask that all the time um, how can you tell the difference between the olive shell and the tortoise shell? Well, right there is a great example of the difference. So, yeah, so the brown one, yeah, tortoise shell. All right. And the other one is olive shell. So she's got both there, tortoise shell and olive shell. Hi, Sue. Hey, Sandy Brown. Bird on the wire. Howdy. It looks like coral to me but anyways there's a lot of components here to make to make things. is this six dollars for choice or the whole lot mm -hmm. well, oh shebang. my god wow that tortoise shell alone is worth that six dollars wow no bids huh i know i have some other ones i just don't have them right in front of me and this they day. just recently stopped letting people yeah. harvest tortoise shell so whatever's out there is what's going to be out there Hi, Tammy. Um, all, all. Yeah, that's all olive shell there. Olive shell on this one. And that's probably liquid silver. I just, I didn't test anything. All right, we're going to move on from that. I'll bring that out at another time. All right, I will do another little lot. Well, first, let me put this out there. This is an awful pretty um, piece. And that does say... 925 on the uh, 
And again, I didn't test it. So this this section right here is probably 925. The It is marked on the lobster claw. But these are beautiful uh, stones of some sort. I'm that, sorry. What did you say your start bid was on this? This at five. Five. Okay. Beautiful uh, stones on this. I, you know, I'm not a stonologist. But then look at this one. Really beautiful piece. We'll go for five on that. Anybody in at five on this? That's what looks like this zebra jasper. What did you? What is it? What did you call it? I don't know what it is. Oh, I thought you gave it a name. I was going to say, what is it? I don't know. I'm. I think it looks like zebra jasper, but I don't know for sure. This is Mark nine two five. Just a beautiful uh, necklace here. We got bird on the wire in at five. Wow, that's got a couple of different kinds of jasper on it, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Now that I get a closer look at this, not so much like zebra jasper now. Great deal on that. All right. Anybody else want to come in at $6? We're going to start counting it down. Yeah, once. Bring it back up. No, no. I'm just taking one. Wow, that is an exceptional deal. A stone necklace of any kind at $5 is great. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold. Two bird on a wire for $5. What? I'm sorry, Shannon. You got food. Yeah. Just be quiet, please. Come on, Mishka. Go see Daddy. Come on, I'm trying to he will trying come to shoot my pup. Come on. Is that the hubbin? Yep. The puppy's being bad. Bird got that. My little bird. Yeah, bird on the wire. What Thank you, bird that? on the wire. Thank you, honey. Come on. Oh, hold on. I gotta hand him the puppy shoes. Being naughty. Where are you? I'm going to run you over now. Come here. You're so very naughty. You're naughty. There you go. <laughs> Bye. <clears throat> what? Later. Thank you. Stop being grumpy. Get out of here. I, I deserve. <laughs> we got to get rid of the grumpy. All right. I'm going to do some more stone. These are um, Unikite, which is my favorite. And it is... Sorry about that. My uh, life goes on in my house. Uh, 32 inches on this unikite. Um, go over your head. And then I have a pretty one. Uh, really pretty. Probably uh, liquid silver. I haven't tested it. You've got an itty bitty uh, bit of malachite in there. But I think those would look beautiful together. And I will do that for $6. Okay. Hi, Rose. Hey, Rose. Hi, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, how are you? Got my towel all wet with the water bottle. <laughs> how did I not get prepared? I'm... I forgot to close that thing on it, and it leaked on my bottle. Or my towel. Um, I have this beautiful towel out here. If you saw that in the beginning, that was a gift from Christina. Such a beautiful yeah, gift. Any interest on the Unikite? I'm going to throw some, all right, let's uh, sweeten the pot. All right, sweeten it. Nope, uh, Rose just came in. Sorry, Rose. Now I'm not going to sweeten the pot. All Rose right, we got, <laughs> we got Rose in at six, looking for seven. I'm so unorganized. So this one is... um. A Rose, barrel. you already got it at six, honey. You just outbid yourself. Oh, but no, yeah. he's wrong. I'm sorry. I'm wrong. Bird of the wire is up there at six. So we have Rose in at 
seven. And then this one, I just thought this looked so nice together like this. I'm blind. Sorry, a bird on the wire. I saw it. <laughs> so I got my laptop in a different place today, so it's harder to see. Is this for both pieces? Yeah, both. All right. So make a nice little, uh, actually, those would look great together. Anybody want to come in at eight? Uh, if not, I'm going to count it down. Right now we have Rose with the high bid at seven. Let me move this out of the way so I can. Oh, we got bird on the wire in at eight. Looking for nine. Rose is in at nine. Looks like you are not the only one that is a Unicat. Unicite fan, bro. I just think it's a Unicat. <laughs> Unicat. It's a Unicat. Unicat. Anybody else want to come in? We've got Rose in at 11 right now for high bid. I'm going to throw this in. It, it, it's cat's eye, I think, or tiger's eye. Uh, mahogany color. You know I'm not a stonologist, y'all. So... That's another long one. This might even be longer than the... Where's my little ruler? Yeah, this is 34 inches long. So I just think they're beautiful together. All those natural stones. Love them. All right. Rose is out. I mean, Bert... Bird on the wire is out. Duh. I'll get it together at some point, guys. Let's count it down for Rose. Going once. Oh, come on. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning. Last chance, guys, to get your bid in. Oh, it looks like she added some tiger iron in there. Is, is that mahogany or the gold tone? Mahogany. Oh, mahogany. All right. Last chance. Sold to Rose at $11. Thank you, Rose. Thanks, ladies. All righty. Let's see what I got here. I do have some really awesome sterling, but I'm going to start with a few pieces of costume. Um, I have this first piece. This is going to be $5 for choice. The first one has the little um, Avon apple pendant. This is an Avon. The second one is a Disney piece. It's got a copper, brass, and probably... Um, I don't know, either some sort of metal or it could be pewter. Not sure Excuse on me. that. It's like a little, a little, little starting bid. 11. I'm sorry. Huh? Oh, $5 for, for choice. Oh, thought you were asking me how much yours were. So Disney piece. So that is the first lot. And it says part of your world. So um, which one of the Disney movies is that? Is that Little Mermaid? I'm not a Disney freak. Yeah, I'm not Sorry. sure. Me either. I don't know why a Little Mermaid. Well, maybe it's a Triton rather than a fork. I'm it might be a Triton. It. So probably a Triton. Okay, this is a really beautiful piece. I cannot believe this one is not signed. It looks like leather cording. Let me look here with the loop. Yeah, it it's leather cording. It looks Aaron. like stainless steel um, pieces, parts there. And it has this beautiful pendant. Very well made. I don't see a brand on it anywhere, but it is gorgeous and very well made. 
I'm not sure what, I think this is acrylic. It feels, it's heavy, but I think it's, um, it's probably acrylic, but it's very heavy. Yeah, it's got some sparkle in it. And it is, get out of the way there with my post-it. All right, um, 21, a little over 21 inches um, with the extender on that one. Very pretty piece, though. Sorry, guys, I am messing up here. Making some rookie mistakes tonight. Okay, and this last one is just a pretty pendant, and it has some um, what looks like it's got a black glass and black crystals, and it has some hematite, uh, different kinds of glass beads on there, a couple of hematite beads too, and it has a toggle. And let's see how long that one is. A lot of nice beads on that one. That one is about 22 and a half inch, No, actually 23 inches on that one. So it must be a um, artisan made piece because of the oddball length at 23 inches. But all, all nice pieces for five bucks. And interest. Oh, thank interest. you, Lord on the Wire. I appreciate it. Hi, Buttercup. How are you? And Miss Sandy and Aaron. I don't love you, Cindy. Aaron <laughs> is putting some uh, jewelry jars together for me. And I got a note that she is putting together jewelry jars with both costume and sterling. So I have a little mixture of each. So we'll see. Or a jewelry jar with some. Uh, costume with some sterling in it. We'll find out when I get it, though, but she's putting some jars together. I am so sorry, but I'm eating my late dinner. This is just a really nice piece. It it really it is not branded, but it totally reminds me of um, oh, what's the C word? <laughs> Chico's. Right. Chico's. It kind of reminds me of the Chico's piece, the construction of it, and this really nice leather cording. All righty, let's move along. Hi, Sharon. How are you? Okay, I have one more choice of here. Let's move those to the side. I, you. I know you were in the other day, but you haven't been in lately. I was hoping you were okay. <laughs> This is going to be another choice of for um, six dollars for choice. Okay, so these look like pearls, but I believe they're metal beads. They're either glass pearls or they're some sort of metal beads, but they're super heavy. I cannot decide. Let me look in the middle again. Yeah, I think they are metal. Um, I think they're metal beads, and it has a diamond, but they look totally like pink pearls. They're magnetic. You notice it keeps picking up everything. <laughs> You're everything them also ceramic, maybe? No, they're not ceramic. I thought they were glass at first. They're super heavy, though. Okay, but Sharon, just know you miss. Though. They're 18 inches. Those are really cool. Um, I have a... This is still on the thing. It looks like it was $16.99 or $24 at one point. It is Catherine's brand. And Catherine. I do have this a little bit tangled up. Let me get a, see if I can untangle it. Thought I had it untangled, but somehow I retangled it. It's a um, slice of an agate. And it's got a brass color dangle from hanging from it. There we go. There we go. And it's got a brass color chain there. I don't know if it's made out of brass. Looks possibly that it could be. I would probably take this off. I don't care much for that. But it has a um, piece of faux leather Strung, strung with it, but I would probably take that off and just go with the um, 
chain and that is about 28 to 30 inches on that so there is that piece and then I have this gorgeous piece and this has let me see what these beads are made out of these are a very heavy acrylic on these and it's got the let me show the coins up close before I um, I'm sure these are not real coins, but I just want to show you those before I lay it out. All right, birds in at six. This is a really pretty necklace, very well made. I don't see a brand on it, but nice um, bib or that kind of necklace. It measures about 19, 20 inches almost. And come in at seven. Hold okay, on. Bruce is in at seven. Here, right, there so we go. This is the goals for choice, y'all. There is the last necklace. Mm, Very pretty. Thanks for letting that one go. Knowing you and your cha cha. Yes, I like this one. Trying to get it out there, right? It has a um, kind of a curb or a Cuban style link chain which is a super popular link, but that's what it looks like. Yeah, these, these things are really awesome, <laughs> except for there, it's magnetic. So it's sticking to everything. It's picking up everything. I think, um, must be an older magnet cause it looks like the, uh, magnet is sort of peeling there a little bit. So I want to point that out, but these beads, that's what this is you're seeing. Um, but those beads are amazing. I don't know what they are, honestly. All right, I see your bids, and Rose is out to Bird at eight dollars. We're gonna go once. Go in once. Fair warning, and we're calling it sold. Sold the bird on a wire at eight dollars. What is your choice, my dear? Bird would like A and C, please. The pink ones and this one. Okay, good choices. Rose, are you interested in that other one? And that went for eight almost. Okay. Eight dollars. Okay, and um, this one is the um slice of agate on this one and it has this really long tassel i'd probably take the tassel off too i'm not i'm not i think that tassel might be a little bit too long but um, it is a nice slice of agate all right let's move on oh there's the other one i was looking for okay i'll put that out with this one Okay, I am making up a really awesome lot of chains, too, um, of costume chains. But these are all going to be chains that are all usable and in good condition. So this is a beautiful piece. Um, it is a um, Chico's. Nice great metal on this one. The um, pendant is a what you call it enhancer enhancer yes and it has a leather cording as a lot of chico's pieces do and it has this fantastic toggle very well made chico's um it measures 21 inches on the chico's and then Number two is going to be this set. These are some pinkish, sort of a mauve color pearls. It's okay. got um, some metal beads on it, too. And then this chain. Um, I don't really like the way they attach this. I probably would find a way to reattach it. But What's um, your story? 
Sorry. Um, this is going to be, let's do, um, let's do six for choice on these. And then it comes with a bracelet. So lots of nice beads here. More than anything, you've got these. Oh, these are glass. So you got glass beads. And these pearls are heavy, so they feel like maybe glass too. So even if you don't like those as they are, that is definitely $6 worth of beads there. Roses in for six. And that is such a good price on that Chico's, guys. Great piece. One of the really better made Chico's I've come across. I mean, they're always really well made, but I'm very impressed by this one. Any interest at seven? Also has a little Chico's tag right there, too. Oh, wait a minute. You know what? I take that back, Rose. It's not Chico's. It's Premier Design. So if you are not in it for the Premier Design, feel free to go out on that, Rose. I forgot that it was Premier Design. I don't know why I was thinking Chico's. Because it looks like Chico's. I know, right? It's very well made. But Premier Designs usually is, too. But I'm impressed with this piece for sure. All right, we're going to go twice. Fair warning. And let's call this sold to Miss Rose. A or B, Rose? The Bur or the uh, hmm, Premier Designs or these feed? Rose would like both. Both. All right. Good deal. All right, that was three, Ro. Thank you, Rose. Thank you, everybody, for your bids. And thank you so much, Bird on a Wire. I'll put this here so these will show. I have got the cutest little necklaces. Um, and they just remind me of spring. So we're going to do um, choice of uh, $5. This is really well made. It's a toggle. And these are like a soft, uh, I thought the black would bring it out, but it's not. Well, let me get something else. This is like a, I don't know, a purplish color and then a. Wow, gold. that's gorgeous. It is so well made and just a beautiful piece, not marked. That's the first one. So cute. See the little color, color differences? The second one is also little flowers with uh, little glass pieces. This is not marked either. I will give you the lengths in just a minute. What was your starting bid on this? These are going to be $5. Okay. Alrighty. That was a, a little cha-cha type. And it's got white uh, faux pearls, little black glass beads. I really like that one on the top. That one's pretty cool. That's very unique. And the last one, I thought it was mine, but it's not. It's this type. So pretty. So it's got all kinds of. Oh, I see one missing there, one faux pearl. So I got to take this off. Unless you want it as is, it still looks very, very pretty. All right, we got bird on a wire is in at five. I'm sorry, Joyce, she beat you by a hair. So this, um, this, let me turn the light down. This little half pearl, if I find one, I will put it, or maybe a flat gemstone I can find but that's going to be as is this is still a beautiful little piece and the weights on them let me put this particular one is 18 inches this little cha-cha one there's no wear on these gals <clears throat> the church I want. I'm I'm using the extenders with these. 18 inches on that one. 
It's a pretty little copper colorish one. It's not copper, but it's that color to me, to these old eyes. Okay, okay. Let me know if you are out, Joyce, and I will start counting it down. I'm trying to fix this so I can measure it. Eighteen inches on that. I'll put them all back out there for you to see in just a second. And then this one on the toggle is uh, sixteen. 16 and a half inches on this one. So there's your first choice, your second choice. Your third choice was the cha cha. All right, Joyce is out. I'm going to count her down. We're going once at um, $5 to Bird on a Wire. Hey, Bowery, thank you for coming in. So going once, going twice. Cindy, will you move that off the uh, screen? Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Thank you. Hon. Fair warning. Oh, I didn't do it. <laughs> Came right back up on its own. Fair warning. Hi, Valerie. Hey, Sandy Brown. And it's sold to Bird on the Wire. All right, Bird, we're going to go one, two, three on the cha-cha and four on this little bib one. Remember, there's one little... I'm going to see if I can find something to put in there, though. Two. This is a beautiful one. Nice choice. Thank you. Joyce, you want to come in on one? One, two, or three. Two or B for bird on the wire. Like the second one. Two flowers. or B. And Joyce, you interested in anything at five on there? She Joyce, wants number one. Joyce, that's an excellent deal on that. Alrighty. All right. On the other side. And these are adorable. I'm gonna sell these four dollars for choice. Oh, tell me I didn't just tangle them all. We've got this cute little ele uh, elephant, giraffe. He moves. He's articulated, and it's in excellent condition. His chain, I believe it goes over your head. I don't see it. 28 inches on his chain. So you've got this beautiful little giraffe. Or, this is so cute. This is like a gunmetal color. It is another long one. Thirty inches long on his chain, gunmetal color, and he's got cute little doodads. It's a little elephant, and these are just plastic, but they're adorable. On this little, the elephant's metal, but the the little components are not. So that's your second choice, and then your third choice. What's your starting bid on this? Four dollars for choice. This is a branded uh, one. I just can't make out the tag. Uh, Thirty inches on him, also, and he's also a beautiful little brassy-colored elephant. With he's got a little hang. I I don't think that's glass. It's not cold, but then it has this little eye on it also and there you go four dollars for choice you got it rose 
All right. Joyce is in at four, looking for five. That one. You got Rose on the damaged bib, right? Mm -hmm. I just don't know if I have um, a flat. I mean, I might have a flat cover somewhere. Counter down, Sin. All right, going once, going twice, two times. Fair warning. And it's sold to Joyce at four. Joyce at May. The giraffe. The first elephant or the second elephant, Joyce? They're all adorable. You got it. The cute little articulating, I mean, giraffe. Cute, cute. Um... I don't know if that was three, huh? I don't think it was. So cute. All right. I have three beautiful vintage. You can. I just threw them right here where I could see them. <laughs> All right. Let me put that in the bag for you, Michelle. Elephant. Well, the two elephants. You got them. Let me write you up. Okay. All yours. All right. These are vintage and they're gorgeous. The first one, I'm not sure what these stones are. But I believe this is horn. Cindy, what do you think? Horn or bone on these? Um, horn. Horn? Yeah. Oh, they're in excellent condition. Yeah, for the I guess without seeing perfect. Horn, it looks horn, and most of the time those are horn from ones I've had. So I'm going to say horn. Usually, if it's bone, you can see that fitting in it, row. The horn, you won't see the fitting. If you look at it with your loop, you won't see the fitting. I'm doing these for 20 each. 20 for choice. Beautiful um, pieces. They are workable. Yeah, those got the... So those are the ones with the trombone style clasp, or how yes. do those open and close? Yeah, that's a good deal on those. We got Joy Joyce knows. We got Joyce in at 20. She's seen us sell enough of these over the years to know what they're worth for sure. Wait, I'm wondering why I Hi, Miss Anna. Did you get your box yet, Anna? Did you have fun looking through it? I just sent you. Well, no. Did I just send it, Anna? All right, I'm wondering why I can't open this one quite as easy, so I am not putting this out there. I sent her one last week, so. No, I didn't. You didn't get mine yet. Anna, how are you? You know, I've been praying for you all day. <laughs> I want to call uh -oh. later. Okay, I Rose is, is smacking you a little bit there. I know. I told her I would. <laughs> okay, so it's just, it's just. She making you dizzy, Rose? <laughs> little WD-40 in there. Wouldn't hurt. Anybody else want to come in on these? This is a fantastic example of these style of bracelets. They have a trombone clasp. Um, they're old for sure. I don't know if these are from India. That would be my guess, but they are pretty 
awesome. And I'm guessing they're well beyond vintage, probably uh, closer to antique on these. Oh, you're not home yet. So hopefully it came today. Gosh, that took and taken a long time. Jeez, what is going on with the post office? Going once. Been almost a week since I shipped that, Anna. Going twice. Hey, Lex. Fair warning. And sold. To Joyce at $20. What a beautiful lacy agate in that one. You know, I'm looking at that. Somebody probably put that in. Maybe the pin. You just need to get your little plastic hammer and tap that all the way in. Doesn't look like it's all the way in there. That's a fantastic part of it for me is they are kind of crudely done but they're old that's natural in the stone it's not broken it's natural you can tell these were all made by hand right. with no fancy tools are we calling this one the first one yeah i think that's the one she wants all righty anybody interested in the second one joyce gets the first one very pretty piece all right that will go back into the bag for another day okay okay was that three lexi's in oh we got lexi in lexi gets the other one sold the lexi on the second one lexi this oh now it's working fine so it must be you have to have it right you might have been putting right. some pressure on it when you were trying to open it yeah. yeah so that's okay with you lexi that's the one you want you got it let me write you up all righty i'm gonna flip over to me i think that was three right um i don't know but go right ahead okay dokie i have yeah Why is that not letting it flip over to me? There we go. And you're not flip over. driving, are you? Don't make me come down there, over there. Okay. This you is a lucky brand. It's got two different measurements. So let's get a measurement on this. It's actually a hook, too, rather than a lobster claw. I mean, rather than a toggle. I actually have a second one of these with the toggle, but I couldn't find it. So I was going to do a choice, of, but I couldn't find that one. Um, okay, the first opening is seven and a half, and the second um, loop is, um, that's on the cone, measures right at a seven. Yep, seven. So Lucky Brand, and we will start this... Um, Awesome Lucky Brand bracelet at, um, we'll start it at six bucks. Okay. Definitely an expensive brand on the Lucky. Here's your little, uh, it's just tough when we're working by ourselves. We're spoiled. Actually, go ahead and do five, five on this. Give it to Joyce at five. Change it to five, Joyce. Wow, that's a lucky brand. I know it's a lucky brand. Great piece, though. Really great piece. All right, there you go, Joyce. Anybody else want to come in at six? Going once. Going twice. Oops, why isn't that doing that? All right. Going once. Sorry about that. Going twice. Anna, are you home or driving?
or somebody else driving you, that would be okay. All right, we're going to call it sold to Joyce. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, thank you. Okie dokie. Okay, I have um, two brooches, kind of cool and different. This one is signed, sort of reminds me of a, what BSK would do, but it is Mamzelle, which is probably pretty equivalent to BSK in the vintage world, but Mamzelle, M A M. Um, oops, I forget how to spell it. M-A-M-S-E-L-L-E. -E. So we got the corn. Kind of different and cool. Especially if you are a uh, Midwestern corn-fed gal, you'll appreciate that. And then I have this one, which I don't see a mark on it anywhere. But this is a really nice bro uh, brooch. Looks like it could possibly be stainless steel, too, maybe. Not sure, but I will, I'm going to do the both of those with a starting bid of, um, let's do, um, let's do $4 for choice on these. All right. I'm a corn fed New England girl. Yep, four dollars for choice, and if you get them both, I will do. Uh, I'll do six for both. If nobody wants choice, then I'll do six. For uh, yeah, six for both. <laughs> How corny! I couldn't. <laughs> well, guess what? This is. I used your towel earlier when I recorded the video. This beautiful towel you sent me, Christine. It's gorgeous. Roses in at six. But it wasn't liking the uh, the print on the jewelry too much, so I had to flip it over. But it was great for my um, my air up video. All right. Con sold, sold, sold. Thank Ms. you. Rose. Thank you. Okay. That's probably, I have found in the entire time I've been doing this, that is only the second Mamsale brooch I have found. They're not real common, so that's a pretty good score, Rose. Thank you. Yeah. All right, go back and we'll Okay, um, wait till you say these. These are so cute. These are stone. Oh, I know, right? And these bears are Mary. pretty detailed for your average Zuni type. Oh, no. No, no, no. Look. we have got a broken leg. we have got a broken leg. Oh, what a bummer. Oh, they are so cute, though. Oh, I would. No. I would. That's just me. I mean, there's people that have so broken legs. Yeah, you'd have to wear them that way. I'm not sure. Now, this kind of looks like the zebra jasper. jasper. I'm going to go ahead and put them out there anyways, just in case somebody's interested in them. And I'm not sure on these hooks. I believe these hooks are brass. These look to be brass hooks. Just need a good cleaning. Um, but I am going to start those. If you put the bears facing each other, let's see. Yeah, we put it facing so it doesn't show that broken leg there. But I am going to start those at 
Let's start those at four dollars because of its poor broken leg. But aren't they adorable? They little are, stone I bear. These are little glass beads hanging from there, like little uh, what do you call those um, handmade beads? Not carnival glass, but the other one. Oh, I can't think of what it's called, but these are so cute, and I am so bummed that it had a had a little broken right there, huh? They look like little wedding cake beads to me. No, they're the, not the wedding cake. What are these called? We're like what are these little bumpy beads called, lady? <laughs> I cannot think of it at the moment. Well, I'm trying to do 10 things right here. I can't. Hey, Tammy Poole. How are you? Hey, Rose Flo. How are you? Going twice. Miss Flo in? Oh, yeah, we got Rosa and Rose. Fair warning. And we're going to call this soul to Anna. I'll think of the name of these and you're going to go, oh, that's right. <laughs> so you say it. All right. Thank you, Anna. Well, I'm glad somebody will wear them anyway. They're too cute to ignore. All right, Ro, you're up. Excuse me, okie dokie. All right, I'm going to do a choice of for $10. This is adorable. It's a Dane craft. And it's a little Cupid hanging on the moon swinging. <laughs> Dane craft on the uh, cartouche back here. $10 for choice. Lamp work. Thank you, Cinnamon. <laughs> so, and then I have, look at this frog, Sam. He's got How like much a did you on the start, man? Ten dollars for choice. Okay, sorry, I got all excited when uh, Cinnamon's Love. younger brain figured out the word I couldn't. Cinnamon, nice picture of you on Facebook. You're so pretty, pretty. I missed it. I'm gonna have to go it's look. Maybe Wawaski. I love uh, how bright and sparkly they are. But that's a beautiful brooch. It's not named, but still a party. And um, I know it's oh, is this a swaski also? I believe that's the swan. So that is another one. Uh, look at how it has even that. Um, I can't think of the word cinnamon <laughs> up in here to cover that back. I just think that's so beautiful. And I know you're going to hate me, but I'm going to put the B out there at that price, too. $10 because of what I paid for them. Yeah, I just realized that both roses are in now. So um, it was Rose H that got the brooches, right? Just want to make sure. You're gorgeous, Cinnamon. You know it. $10 for choice. Like on the <laughs> Is wow. uh, Lydia Miss Lydia? The, Hi, Nicola. Hi, Nicola. The uh, calla lily is gorgeous. Okay, thank you, Rose. Just wanted to make sure. Yeah, they got to put these back in the bag so they don't lose their beautiful. Look at how gorgeous, though. Is that first one really looks like Kirk's Folly? I thought it was Kirk's Folly, but it is definitely Dane Craft. Oh, dang. Well, that's just as good. All right. These are going out, out, out. Oh, Froggy doesn't want to fit in this bag. There you go. Get down there. Okay. I don't think they have enough have enough uh, filters for me for that. We will move on. To wait, 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 wait. Bring them back. We got Nicola in at 10. The chat's moving slow, oh, so you have to go a little bit slower, Ro. I don't know. I've been a, I've been a no dawdler all my life, and you're asking me to go slow. That's like I can't do it. Time to dawdle. Nicola wants the moon and the angel. I'm not even going to bother calling it down. She that wants the moon. How cute and is that? The angel, please. You got it. Thank oh, I guess honey. it's all one brooch. Moon angel, right? That's not two different brooches, right? <laughs> 
It's an angel swinging on the moon. Got it. Nicola wants this one. Um, everybody's packages are out. I apologize. They got out late, but they are out. If you paid your, um, I was going to say if you paid your mortgage. <laughs> I hope you paid your mortgage. <laughs> this is too cute not to sell. Um, I'll put. If not, you don't have to come live with me. This is articulated. I will try to find a costume chain to go on it, but he is adorable. Four dollars starting bid. So articulated and just fun, fun. He's an old one, but he is in good shape. Wow, I have not seen one of those before. Rose is in at four for I could even get to my keyboard. Rose at four looking for five. Joyce, you'll have to come in at five. We got Christina in at five. I think I just had my hand on a little chain. Rose right. is in at six. You'll be right over. <laughs> uh, Rose is moving in with me. We got Christina in at seven. Isn't he? I've never seen a seahorse before. I've seen plenty of the fishes, but. And the neat thing about it is the men give birth. The men are the ones that have the babies. I love it. I love it. All righty. We've got Christina at nine. Um, Christina is now at 11. Y'all are. Uh, I think I found the chain. I think this is a um, okay, out to Christina. So let's count her down for Christina. On it. There. I mean, it's silver, but he looks, he's got a little silver in him. I don't have a gold one. If I find a gold one before he goes off in the mail. Ooh, I smell food. Fair warning. And sold at 11 to Christina. Oh, I got to I got to find my phone and tell him to bring me some food. And I just sent you your package. Too cute. Okay, that was three cents. Okay. Hold on, I'm asking for food. <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, can you bring me some food? Food. 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 Right. I just texted for food. Okay, let's see what this is. I believe. Could you, me? Could you feed me, please? I believe this is a yes, it is. It is a Stella and Dot. I think I'm gonna have to um <coughs> excuse me. I apologize. Measurement on this. This measures. Um, Anna, okay, Anna, will you just um, type in what Cindy says? I have to change my arrangement. I, I have to put my laptop where I usually have it. I'm having a heck of a time uh, functioning here. So I'm okay, going to be this is in it. The most gorgeous Stella and Dot. Just beautiful, Stella and Dot. It is. Oh, oh, oh! What you doing, Ro? I'm you keep sorry. bumping me out. Cindy, how do I block my my avatar? How do I block my screen? Um, see down at the bottom where it says "Stop Screen, Stop Cam." Okie doke. All right, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, there you go. You're out. Okay, so beautiful Stella and Dot. Um, that bead there, it is brass. That bead's a little tarnished, does need a cleaning. Um, and I am going to start this at $10. Beautiful, though. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous piece of jewelry. Let me find my, see 
if oh no you know what hmm, maybe that's supposed to be that brass color um let's see here yeah because the rest of it is brass so they made one of them kind of a silver tone very weird So this one, if I clean it, it's going to turn into silver tone. But the rest of them are brass. See that? Very pretty, though. You get it, Rose. This is so gorgeous. So well made. Can't even imagine what Stella and Dot charged for this now. I'm guessing this was over a hundred dollars now. All of the rhinestones are there. And these are Stella and Dot. So these are glass. These are not usually acrylic on Stella and Dot pieces. Okay, I'm back. I couldn't handle that other way. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Did you put a starting bit up? I did. Oh, I found the other lucky brand bracelet. Ha ha. Okay. I did. Um, I don't know if it got typed in. $10 start bid. I think I Anna it. typed it in, didn't she? Or no? Do I need I to type know. it in? I was going. I don't know. Um, hi, Suzanne. Hi, Yvonne. Is it working for you? $10 start bid on this, um, Stella Ten. and Dot. Uh, gotcha. 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 I just couldn't handle that other. I had it all. All right. Let's move along. Not working for me. Put that in a bag. I don't want to knock any stones out of it. Okay. So I do have a brand new Lucky. This one's a little bit hardier. This is not the toggle one. This one says Lucky Brand. It is magnetic and it has a... Um, on both sides <laughs> I forgot to open one side it's got these little safeties there and it is similar to the other one but look how gorgeous that is and this one has got a $59 price tag lucky brand brand new you could list it as new because it's still you can list it new with tags and it's got these uh, bead balls. It's got the brass and bead balls there. And it's got this kind of faux leather thing. Little, um, little rhinestone disc there. And a regular curb chain. And then it's got these little hot peppers. And the hot peppers actually look like they have a little rhinestone set in them. They do. There we go. So little little hot peppers. So yeah. I start this one at ten dollars. Let me get a measurement on this one. I do have another one though that is more similar to the one choice bot, but this one's a little hardier. And it is a little bit wider. And this one measures about a seven inch, right at a seven actually. And it has these safety features. So very nice piece. Price is in at 10. You are a lucky fan, I take it, Joyce. Oops, I've got, I think I got it backwards. Nope, I had it right. Going once. Twice. I think I have one more brand. Um, Joyce, I'll see if I can find. I have probably have other lucky pieces too, but I might have one more particular style. Okay. 
Uh, just ran over this chain. Oh, good. Didn't hurt it. Okay. I need a bag, a ghost bag. Okay, I have, what do I have here? Let's do this. Um, it's a costume rope chain. It's not sterling or Bermay, but it's in super, super good condition. It is like new. I don't see a mark on this, but it is in great, great condition. It is 24 inches, and I will start that at $5. Nice hefty, and it looks like it's very possibly stainless steel, too. Yeah, I would not be surprised, as well as this is held up, that it, um, if it's not stainless steel... Rose is in at five. Anybody want to come in at six? I will transition at some point here, guys, into sterling. Going once. To Miss Rose. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold to Miss Rose. Thank you, Rose. Okay, this is a um, Sarah Coventry set. And I might possibly, now no promises, but I might possibly have the earrings still that go with this. And if I do, and if I can find them, I will add them. But what you are buying is the necklace and bracelet. Um, so that, and that's, you know, I, like I said, can't guarantee it, but hopefully I can find it somewhere. Earrings that match it. Um, the necklace measures, there is your Sarah Coventry tag right there. And the necklace measures, it is four strands, I think. Yeah, four strands, sort of a scroll chain, and then a just a regular curb chain link. Bracelet is the same way. Let me give you measurements on them both. And I will start this at $6 for this set, which is unbelievably good price. Um, 24 inches on the chain. Nice Sarah Coventry set for sure. And the bracelet is also the Sarah Coventry bracelet. And it has the same combination, four strands. And it is a size seven on the bracelet. Right. And is in at six. Anybody want to come in at seven? Nice price. I don't, I'll see if I can find the earrings. If I can, I'll add them. Sarah Cove. Nice price. I know I have some somewhere. I just could not at the moment tell you where they're hiding. I know, and I may have. I think I may have sold them. <laughs> I sent you. I think I sent you one because you had one oddball one. Mm -hmm. And I, I had the matching oddball one too. So I remember sending you that one, but I, hey, I have gonna go a pair since then. Going twice. Sarah Coventry. Fair warning. Ooh, eek warning. What I like about this set is that it's not a super heavy set. You know, a lot of times you buy these chain sets and they're so heavy that they get irritating to wear, but this one is not. 
I'm not sure what metal Sarah used on it, but this is a vintage piece and it has not had any color issues whatsoever. It sold to Anna. All righty, it's your turn, Ro. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, everybody. I love you. My granddaughter's home. My precious pet. Okie dokie. Um, speaking of Sarah Coventry, this says Sarah on the back. I absolutely love this brooch. Oh, I have a quick question, Ro. I meant to put that in the when I posted it, but I forgot. Um, somebody asked over the weekend, I believe it was, for a Star of David. I did find a Sterling Star of David. I actually found a nice big one, and it is a Mexico piece. So um, if that was you that asked about the Star of David, let me know, and I'll bring it out. Sorry, Ro. That's okay. I'm going to start this at 10. I know that seems like a lot, but it is. Sarah Coventry, these are not chinzy. These are really heavy. Beautiful bro. Have you ever seen this gorgeous. one before? Yes, it's yeah, a gorgeous piece. One. Yeah, I've, I've actually sold that one. That one has matching pieces to it, too. I just love it. There's a, a necklace pendant thing. And there is a pair of earrings that match that. And I believe a bracelet, too. And the bracelet is a combination of those beads on the end, that curb chain, and then the centerpiece is the matching to this. So, the top of the brooch, but really beautiful piece, though. Much better made than you think, though, for sure. Trying to find something. I'm so sorry. Flip that over for a minute, Ro. Flip it over to the back. Hold on one second. This is one thing you can pretty much always count on with Sarah Coventry brooches is the pin is always going to be attached directly to the brooch instead of a riveted bar across the back. All right, we're going to move on from this. I just love this brooch, y'all. Love it. I want to put it back in the bag. I don't want to get hurt. Very, very nice. Okay. Who can resist bling, right? Who can resist bling? So um, let me get something to put it on. I don't know how things disappear from here. All right, so uh, this is going to be $5 starting bid. Let me get the... It is a branded... It says ink. It's got a little gemstone, and then it says ink. It is 16 inches. How are you, Suzanne? And it is gorgeous. All those little... Oops. Darn it, I put the wrong name on that. Where are we starting it? $5. Okay, there you go. Wow, nice. Rose of bling. That's, and what's that tag say? Ink. Ink, okay. That's a super good deal. Wow, nice piece. Can you imagine how gorgeous that would look on a black dress, ladies? Ooh, so pretty. That's why I put on black. You can't really and, see the, the gemstones, but. And what I like about it is it doesn't necessarily look like a prom piece. We got Anna in at five. It doesn't read prom. Like so many of those rhinestone pieces, because that's what we wore to our proms when, and my daughter to her proms when she was uh, growing up. So they always remind me of proms, but this one does not. We got Anna at five looking for six. <laughs> Trying to get it to show. Okay. Ink. Okay. We got Sherry in at six. Isn't that beautiful, Sherry? I 
you know, I forget that uh, we are not on Facebook, so I can stay in the stream or in the YouTube chat, can't I? But I can't do that on the YouTube chat. Okay, we are looking for seven. Let me know if you're in or out, Miss Anna. Yeah, totally different. Just a gorgeous piece. And it made it through all of the previous owners without losing any stones. Ink is not a cheap brand either, guys. So it wasn't it didn't start off as a cheap piece of rhinestone jewelry. All right, I am going to count her down. Um, are you out, Miss Anna? Going once. She must be, she must have got the boot. I think there's more where that one came from, Anna. <laughs> Going twice. Fair warning, oops, God bless, get out my way there. Fair warning, that pop-up keeps getting in my way, and I know I have pop-ups turned off, so how are you getting through my pop-up locker? And sold at $6 to Sh Sherry Kelly. Very, very nice. can't believe I had this big old Star of David one I asked for it the other day and didn't remember it. This is um, another bling. And it appears that, well, no, it doesn't. Nobody added this chain. It's a lot, makes it for a nice, hold on and let me measure it. Twenty inches. The chain makes it twenty inches long, but the bling goes all the way up your neck, so you wouldn't really see this chain. She got the bling bling up her neck. Look at that. It's got some black and white. Bling bling. Beautiful piece here. So the chain, the bling goes all the way up, and then uh, that's where you hook it, and then the bling goes all the way up. So these go up the side of your neck. So you're not going to see this chain that much at all. And I will do this at six. This one's really beautiful too. Hmm, I wonder if my husband got my text. I'm not seeing any food. <laughs> He usually ignores my text when I'm in the house with him. <laughs> you just don't have him trained, Sam. I know. Well, I never text him during an auction, so he's not used to it. All right. Anybody want to come in on this one at six? I imagine you could probably find some uh, um, white and black rhinestone earrings that will go pretty nicely with this, too, if you're looking for that sort of a piece. You gotta train them. All right, here's another one I'll do at six. Oh my gosh. Now look at this one. This one does not really read prom either. This one is gorgeous too. These are all gorgeous. You should These just put those gorgeous. all out there at choice of, bro. I can't I can't show them well enough. But there's two of them. Maybe we'll do these at choice of. You started in about six, right? Yeah. 20 inches, and this one is. There. 18 inches. So one, and these are vintage. Oh, how did that get over there? Mm -mm -mm. And I'll throw this one in, and this one. You got is Nicola in at six. This is a, this is a. 14 inch so this is and this is a 
And I think those two might have had little CZs. Oh, I see one CZ missing right there, too. But I do have some extra CZs. That could be another $6. All righty. I am going to go one time to Nicola. Going twice. These are the queen of the prom on these. Fair warning. Gorgeous pieces. I the one on the top doesn't read or the one in the middle doesn't read prom as much as the other two. We got Marcy in at seven looking for eight. This is a choice of Marcy if you're just joining us. Cute picture, Marcy. All right, Nicole is back at eight, looking for nine. Cute picture, Nicola. I love you young girls liking this stuff that I used to like when I was your age. <laughs> All right, we got Marcy in at nine, and Nicola is back at ten. These are awesome. You can dress them up or dress them down. Okay, Marcy is out, so we're going to count her down at 10 for Miss Nicola. Going once. We'll go one, two, and three. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold. Okay, I'm going to ask again real quick because I don't want to bring this out until that person is in the chat that asked for a star of David. Um, I think it was this weekend. I found a nice big star of David. So if you are here and you are the one that asked, um, I did find one and Thank you, honey. Holler and I will bring it out. I don't know if Nicola was one asking. I don't know. I'm just asking um, whoever was in, whoever asked for that, if you're here now. Um, go ahead and do one more row. I'll flash the Star of David real quick, but go ahead and do a third one row. Nice big Mexico Star of David. This is gorgeous. It's brand new. Let me get the length and then I'll blind you. I'm going to go holler at my husband to bring me food. Bring me food. All right. This is 18 inches. 18 inches. I am starting this. I know it sounds bad, but I have to start it at 25. This is all individual. You see how that goes? Built. They're just gorgeous. 18 inches. The part of the tag is still on it. Brand new. And then those double rows of CZs go all the way up around. This is just gorgeous. Beautiful bib necklace. Okay, I'm back. Wow, that is gorgeous. Did you put in a start bit on this one? No. See how this is, Cindy? Huh? It's all individual rows. Yeah, that is definitely not prom. That's more like ball. <laughs> how much on that one? 25 starting bid. Still has part of its tag on it. Gorgeous That's gorgeous. Kind of reminds me of something that, uh, oh, what's her name would do? Um, let me think what that designer's name is. There are individual rows. 
That is for sure a wowzer. Thank you, thank you, honey. That's the prom queen necklace there. <laughs> I think it's gorgeous. Anybody in at 25 on that? We got Nicola in at 25. Is that like amazing, Nicola? This is this is amazing. Amazing. I'm not kidding. So is. Going once. Trying to remember who that is. She makes handbags and stuff like that too. And Bear really Wang. beautiful rhinestone jewelry. No, not Beer Wang. Um but however, Vera Wang's a possibility. I mean, it hers, hers would be signed, but the other lady I'm thinking of is not always signed. <coughs> Sorry, I got the... I chewed and swallowed too fast, and now I got the hiccups. Fair warning. I'm so glad this sold. Oh, to Nicola at 25. I absolutely love this one, Nicola. Stunning, for sure. I want to know where you're going to wear it. I want to know. I want to know. But again, you can dress it up or dress it down. Okay, I'm going to do a couple of pieces of sterling here. Alrighty. Okay, I have a new spoon ring. Let me see how this one is signed and what size it is. Okay, this is Thailand. Oh, and it does have a Maker's Mark one, which I had never seen before. And of course, I lost my, you know what, while we were going through that jewelry earlier, bro, I lost my loop. Cindy, I don't know what's wrong with you. I know, I didn't even get up from the chair when we were going through the silver, I lost my loop. I don't know how, but it is not here anymore. Let me see if it's, no, no it's not up there either. Okay, beautiful. This has a maker's mark that I have never seen before. Um, and, of course, I am, hopefully I can magnify it. You see that little mark right there? I've never seen that. I don't know if I can magnify it or not. Probably not. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Interesting, though. Um, beautiful spoon ring. Sterling silver size. Okay, so it is set at about a six now, but you could take it up a little bit if you needed to, actually. Yeah, six. Um, really beautiful spoon ring. I think there's a little lead way. You'd probably take it up to a seven. Um but probably wouldn't go much higher than that. And look how beautiful this is. I am going to start this one at 25. Okay. And what is it uh, size set on? Uh, it's set at a six. Okay. It is marked Thailand 925 and... As this maker's mark, at least I'm assuming that TH is Thailand. They could be wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice heavy spoon ring, though, Rose. It's a really nice one. I need more coffee. Counter down for Miss Rose. Okie dokie. Go once, Miss Rose. I guess I'm going to sell this ring tonight because it's too big for my finger. Going twice. I don't want to lose it. 
Fair warning. And we're calling it sold, sold, sold to Miss Rose. Thank you, Rose. Let me see if I have my gym tester on. I need to see if these are garnets or not. It's raining. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Of course, I don't have my gym tester on. Well, I'll do that one after my gym tester warms up. Okay, let's see what else I got here in my magic bag. I have jewelry in from a couple of places this week, and I don't know which direction to go here. I don't know what it just dawned on me, though. You know what I'm missing in my lot? Mm. Let me see if it's in this bag. Oh, nope, it is not. Okay. Yeah, I bought that amber pink piece and it's not in my bag. Okay, let me find something else. This is absolutely gorgeous, also. And I think my thing should be warmed up enough now to test it. Yep, it is. Okay, this is, let's see if this is sapphire or black topaz. Looking like black topaz. This is so pretty though. It is a size 8. This would make such a gorgeous, it doesn't fit me, but it would make a really gorgeous, um, ring for almost any finger and would actually make a good thumb thumb ring or um, even a really gorgeous knuckle ring. I can't find a finger it fits on though, unfortunately. Let's see if it'll fit on this. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Beautiful ring though. And I will start that one at 25 and these are black topaz. Size? Eight. Sorry about that. So if you've got little dinky thumbs, it would make a great um, thumb ring. Very beautiful, though. Also, looks like it would make a really nice... Um, you could stack it with something else too if you had something else that would nudge right in there it would make a good snack stack mm -hmm. too but definitely make a good stacker piece pretty. yes it's different rose it's really pretty all right i can test this other one Okay, this is going into the garnet range. Okay, let me move that one aside. Beautiful garnet baguettes. Very pretty piece. And it is does look like it's signed something other than 925. Oh, IPS, which is uh, international. Hmm, I can't remember what the PS. been a while since I've had anything this brand. But it is a, um, a company that makes jewelry for jewelry stores. So it does make some of your better jewelry. And you can see this is nice made. And it is a size six and a half. And I will start that one at 25 also. <laughs> Type in with one hand. Give me a minute. This would make a great stack or two. I didn't send out a 
email. Dagnabbit. I, I posted... I do get things marked NV. Yes. Rose Flo, I sent out your first package today. Um, you'll, you'll see that on costume jewelry also, that NV mark. And there's a couple of different things that means um, there is a designer with an NV, but when you see it on costume in most jewelry it means it's a jewelry co-op and so if they it is signed with an nv it's a guarantee of quality well all righty then so you'll usually when you do see that nv mark on something it's pretty good quality so it's basically what it means is guarantee of quality It stands, the NV stands for whatever the name of that organization is. I haven't looked it up in a long time, so I don't remember. But that's three row. All righty. Well, where do you see what I got here? This is going to be a choice, but I can only show one at a time. Uh, choice at $10. Let me see if I can get the whole thing in here. This is the first one. These are faux pearl. I, it, it flipped over when I hit enter. <laughs> and it's a long enough chain, it will fit anybody. And once you get it, if you don't like how long it is, you can take this chain off. But look at this piece. I love it. That is gorgeous. Looks like almost like a pale oh, yellow oh. pearl. Are they champagne or yellow? They're like well, they're just faux. They're just no, I mean the color though. They're like a shim, uh, like a cream color. So that's the first one. And this ring is adjustable, but I don't want to touch it. It's brand new. I'll let the buyer do that. That's the first one, brand new. Then I have another one that's older. Oh, gosh, I love this one. So $10 for choice on these. Oh, I don't want to take away from it with all my other rings, but let me take this one off. Here's the second one. So you've got a square type. You've got chains on this one. These are bigger CZs, and it comes up to these really big CZs. And also a um, adjustable, but I don't want to adjust it. And again, you can take the chain off once you... I'll leave it on. I would leave it on. Any interest in these little slave diamond? I wouldn't call them slaves, though. Choice up for 10. Darn it, I keep forgetting to write names on the jewelry. Rose, was it you, Rose H., who bought the uh, um, spoon ring? <laughs> I forgot to put the dang name on it. Yes, I think Rose did. Okay. Any interest in these beautiful slave bracelets? Yes, Rosa did. Rosa. Okay. I think these are gorgeous. Ended up throwing it back in the box. I forgot to put her name on it. All right, I don't want you crying later on these. Love those. Let me get a bag. I don't want to just put them in there without it. <laughs> Rose is going to the ball. This silversmith. Rose, this silversmith got it. <laughs> <laughs> Those were pretty. All right. I have a couple of barrettes that are also CZ. And make sure I only have two in there. And I will do this uh, $2 a piece. Look at them. One's a long one. And one is a short one, but gosh, I love that one. Beautiful hair breaths.
They work just fine. This appears to be the older of the two. <laughs> All right, Cindy, call it down. All righty, we are going once. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold. Rows one or two. Rosa. You got it. How did I know you were going to say that, Rose? Two at two. Those are pretty. Okie dokie. Thank you, honey. This one's cute. And I'll do this for five. Starting bit of five. This is all blue CZs. And blue little cat's eyes. Oh, appears to be cat's eyes. Just faux. But look at how pretty that is. Let me get the length of it now that I'm thinking about it. The length is 16 inches, but you could add more chain on there. Baby blue. Very, very cute. Sure is raining out. Can you hear it on my air conditioner? Um, I can. Five dollars start bid on this. This is really pretty too. I'm gonna do a choice of the light blue baby or this. This is like a almost gold like gold. a rose gold. Oh, rose gold. Okay. Also, uh, Sherry's in at five. So looking for six. Wow, that's magnificent. Very mm -hmm. pretty pieces. Mm-hmm. When she showed, Rose showed me all these pieces, first thought was, dang, what did she do? Knock over a prom? <laughs> looking for six? <laughs> no, I didn't want all the nose rings. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get these days, right? Yeah. Belly button piercings, <laughs> eyebrow rings. I didn't want them, <laughs> which is fine. I don't care about the belly button. It's fine, I don't care. Things, I but they shouldn't be hanging out where everyone can see them at a prom. I just don't want them on mine. I know, right? I think we're just getting old, bro. Going you know, once. Samantha's doing her thing with her with her ears, not her. The rest of her yet, thank goodness. They are, Nicola, beautiful. We're going twice on this, last chance. And you don't find these rhinestone pieces in gold tone or rose gold tone, especially often at all. Most of the time they are white, um, silver tone. All right, sold at five to Sherry. Sherry, your choice. One or two or one and two. Sherry, I sent you a big package today. I believe it was you. Anna's was big. Yours was big. Designs was big. <laughs> you got it, honey. That's pretty. I'm sad for my little blue one. I love that blue one. 
Linda, that was three. All righty. Oh, wait, it wasn't. Hold on. I got one more. All right, this next one's not for the faint of heart. This is body jewelry. And I had it on Samantha, and um, she, she doesn't like this. She kept the gold tone one, but... So this goes over your bathing suit or I suppose a t-shirt. I am going to start this at 15. So it's CZ galore. So you can see where it goes. The stretch is really, really wide. The chain it was very uh, long for Samantha. I suppose you can cut the chain off if you want. She's a size five, six. This is also adjustable in the back. So it goes over. I mean, you young girls know how to wear these things. I wouldn't wear this, but it's adorable. So it either goes over your bathing suit or your little t-shirt or whatever it is your little gals wear. Any interest at 15? Yeah, I don't think that would fit one boob for me. <laughs> no, yeah. yeah, but see, this whole thing is it, when it goes over, it doesn't have to go exactly. It doesn't fit tail or fit. It just it just decorates the item you're wearing. How, how many girls do you think would try to wear that without one? <laughs> These kids today. At my the bling you. bra. That's right, Nicola. It looks painful, right? Bling bra. Well, it goes over here. It goes over here. That is kind of cool, though. Samantha kept the one. The one she kept, it drapes. They're, they're draping uh, CZs. They're really pretty. Any interest in the bling? Go really great with your belly dancer anklet, right? <laughs> <laughs> we need to be a little bit younger than we are for this type of stuff. <laughs> yes, indeedy. Mm-hmm. I think if I was 40, no, 50 years younger. <laughs> All right, we're moving on. I might the... give it a whirl at 40 years younger for sure. <laughs> it is a pretty little piece. It was cute on Samantha. She just didn't like this silver tone. Okay, that's so that's, all, really that's all. I'm just sour because I can't wear it anymore. <laughs> right, Nicole? <laughs> that's it. All right, Tim, that was three. Okay, dokie. Let me see. Let me get some sterling here. Oh, let me bring these out first and then I'll do sterling. Okay, so these are MAC, as in MAC Cosmetics. Hold on. These are beautiful pieces. So here is the first one. I cannot believe what this one is actually listed for. Oh, it's really cool. Listed for a really crazy amount, but these are max 20 inch, um, sort of like a paperclip style chain. And that one's got the Mac. This one is really awesome. Let me measure it all the way. This one is about 28 inches. This is the zipper. It says Mac right there. So you can shorten it as long as much as you want and make it into sort of a, I don't know what you would call that, but like a dangle sort of zipper dangle. But that slides up and down to make it any length you want up to 28 inches. So that is number two. That again is Mac. All right, what uh, starting bid? Um, I'm going to start these at, let's start these at 20 for choice. This is also the last Mac I have. This one's kind of a gunmetal sort of, um, what do you call that? Chainmail sort of design there. It is 
with the extender it goes to almost 24 inches with the extender there's your mac tag and it is a chain mail there you go oh. I guess you could uh actually you know what i'm just noticing this is two-toned so it is a silver tone on one side and a gunmetal color on the other side there you go all right that makes more sense now these are all mac and these are actually listed pretty high surprisingly high on these Some dupus actually had this one listed at over a hundred. It's like, really? Calabunga. <laughs> I know, right? So uh, some of these pieces I think are um, collectible because they come with vintage like older like this one i'm pretty sure is a little older it came with um some cosmetics the other two i think are from their jewelry line which is probably why that one is listed so high too so they weren't like mass produced basically all right let's uh move it along Okay, this is a chromium dioxide. It is testing in the correct range for chromium dioxide. Beautiful. You could tell people it's emerald if you want to, but it's testing as chromium dioxide. It is marked Thailand and uh, I'm going to have to look in my book for this one. It's got a the letter Z inside the box. It's a letter Z, like, but it's a fancy Z. And it is a size oh, almost a 9. That one's a, well, 8. Between 8 and 3 quarters and a 9, but not quite a 9. Um, I am going to start this one. This is really pretty. This would make a great um, unisex piece, too. It would make a great ring for a man also. Um, and on the pinky of a man, or if you have a man that has smaller fingers, um, I would start this at, I'm going to start this at 30. Super good deal, I think, at 30. Eight and three quarters and a smidgen. Yeah. Got a nice band. Open back. Would make a really great unisex piece for sure. Excuse me. All righty. So, um, I remember who was asking for this. I better message both of them and make sure before I put it out there because I'd hate to sell it while they're not here and have them get upset because they've been asking for it for days so i'll wait on that one you remember the little bird piece 
Jeremy finally did give it to me. Can you remember who wanted that so bad? Was it um, Margaret or was it? Um, I don't know, baby. Or was it uh, Loftus, Judy Loftus? I can't remember. One of them really wanted this ring that I had to get, or this brooch, but I had to get Jeremy's permission on that one because... <laughs> it was marked sterling, but turned out not to be. So I had to get his permission to sell it as costume, basically. All right, what else do I have? Um, I have. I got a book. I just don't know what to give up next. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, this will get you. This one will get you. Ah. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? You scared me. You scared me. Scared you? I should have saved it for Mike's next appearance because you know how much he loves those eyeballs. But oh, it is a size. I'm worried about him. Size seven and a quarter. Almost. Not quite a seven and a half, a little over seven and a quarter. And let me see what these films are. Darn it. I put pass in there twice, sorry. Huh? I put pass in there twice, sorry. Hold on, I'm trying to test these stones and see if they're CZs or something else. Give me one second, I'm going to wait for that to come back on. Somehow it got turned off. Come on, come on. There you go. It is. Okay. I think they're CZs. The black one is going to tourmaline, but the white and the blue as much as that looks like blue diamonds i can't get it all the way in there and so probably i'm going to say they're cz's because i can't get my needle on there they're too small they are opened on the back and it does have a pretty band pretty band so this is a size yeah i said already a little over a seven and a quarter and then i will start this at um let's start this one at 26 on this one i missed the size hon i'm sorry a little over seven and a quarter so anybody needs that evil eye it's really kind of pretty, although I don't like the eyes. Yeah, these blue ones are totally the color of blue diamonds, but I don't think they are. I think they're probably CZs. I will, Sherry. I will tell him. In person, the blue looks kind of distorted on screen. It's a little more of that blue diamond color than the bright blue like that. But kind of cool, though. Look at this. And a cool ribbed band. I like the setting on this. I don't know if I see anything in there or not, though. <laughs> Marcy's in. Counter down for Marcy. Oh, I'm sorry. I was in the middle of typing Mike. Alrighty, we're going to do once for the evil eye. Going twice. I don't know how an evil eye can be good. That's the whole thing. It wards off evil. Hmm. Gives me the creeps. <laughs> it's it's saying, I got my eyes on you. I'm a watching you. Don't be doing anything because I am watching you. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you. That was three, Ro. Thank you, Marcy. All righty. I have, oh, let me get my chat uh, back up. Uh, where am I? Okay. Oh, boy, the phone is lagging badly. All right. I have a little uh, butterfly lot. And I'll start it at, uh, I'll start at $6. Um, doing that. I haven't touched it. This is thirty. When I get a certain key, you said six dollars. Six dollars for the lot. Okay. So when I hit a certain key, it switches that over. You got Marcy in at six. That's plastic. I don't know if this is plastic or not. It's got a little one of these type closures. And then I have a cute Avon piece. Look at how adorable this Avon piece is. Looks to be brand new. That is sixteen. And then the third piece I'm throwing in there. I'm, I haven't been able to find a chain yet, but I will look. Oh, let me put this down where it belongs. All right, so three pieces in this lot. And anybody mm -hmm. interested in coming in at seven? Some cute butterflies. I'm going to call it down for Marcy. That one, one on the top looks almost more like a moth. It's very cool looking, though. Going once, see how fat fat that body is, huh? Pardon? I said, see how fat that body is. Going twice. Don't hurt the little thing's feelings. I won't. But there's nothing wrong with being a moth. There's some pretty moths out there. Fair warning. Kind of looks a little bit like a lunar moth. We got Mike in at seven, looking for eight. Awesome on these, Mike. Awesome price. Finality. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> we got Mike in at seven. But you got in just in time. Um, Avon. Vintage Avon piece. This is just plastic. And this is just kind of looks like stainless steel to me, but. I'm just not sure. Beautiful. Okay, Marcy is out, so we're going to count her down for Mike going once. I have a giveaway to send you to, Mike. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you kindly. All Thank right, Ro. It is 922, so let's plan on getting off here around 10. Does that work for you? Yeah. All right, good. Okay, let me put these up for Mike. Thank you, Mike. All righty. Let me do another little lot. These are pretty. This is just a costume, but it's so pretty. Look at that. Um, Did I lose you? Uh -oh. Did you freeze? Roberta. Hello. Yep. Okay, I think Ro is streaming, so we'll give her a second for her. Um... I was by There it is. She's yeah. back. Okay. All right, the second piece. I don't know. We didn't see any of it because you started streaming, so you're going to have yeah, to start um, it. I don't know why that was happening. 
All right, so this is another long piece. This is a beautiful like uh, box chain and it comes down and this goes to the side like that. I suppose you can wear it down the other way, but that's when it's hooked, that's where the, the thing comes. So this is $10 for this lot. And the price de la vie de is a beautiful uh, lucky brand. And wow. this is again, a nice long snake. I'm going to uh, measure it for you. So that necklace is the, the long one. Is it lucky? This is a 30 inch. This is the lucky. Mm -hmm. This is the chain. Now I'm assuming this came on this. Yep, it did because you can't get it over either side of this to take it off. Oh yeah, so the pendant did come on there. And there is the three items that I'm going to put out there for ten bucks. This is a deal of the century. Yeah, it's a super good deal. We got Joyce in at ten. Joyce is cleaning up on the lucky tonight. Anybody want to get ten eleven on this? Do you collect lucky? She is now. <laughs> well, I don't know if she, if you know, if it's a thing she collects. If it is, if she just started collecting it. If she wasn't already, anybody want to come in at eleven? Oh, I have so much stuff out here. Lordy have mercy. That's a really nice lucky piece. You notice too that lucky you very rarely find any of this stones missing too. We got Marcy eleven. Marcy's in at eleven, looking for twelve. Joyce is back at twelve. Joyce is defending her territory. Okay, looking for 13 on this. Beautiful pieces. Got Marcy in at 13. You got three different necklaces on this set. Joyce says, all right, forget it. Let's go 15. Looking for 16. Marcy is out. I think you wore her down, Joyce. Going once. Joyce is going, I win. Yes. More lucky. Fair warning. And... Sold to Joyce at 15. Thank you, Joyce. Thank you, Marcy. Thank you, ladies. Awesome prices. Um, awesome pieces and awesome prices. Yes. Um, let's see. My, my third one, I'm going to do a little lot of Joan Rivers. So I've got two Joan Rivers rings. They are size. This one's a seven. This is one that this comes up. I think that comes off. Yes, that comes off, but I don't have any other uh, pieces that go on it. I mean, it's a magnet. It's not going to go anywhere just if you're wearing it. Size seven on that. And then this ring is a size, also a size seven. Very pretty with CZs and enamel. So you got two rings. And then I have these. I don't know the paper. Oh, this is a brooch. A little brooch. And I'll start this at seven for the brooch. Little brooch. And oh, it's a pearl minder. Or it goes, it's got a little pearl minder thing there, but it's not, it's for a necklace. That opens up. This is brand new. Nice. It is. It opens up. Let me see if I can focus. So that, has, that has a locking back on it? No, this is. Oh, it, okay. I see. It's, it's got a necklace. Oh, how cool. So it's a brooch. Is that a 
It's that gross. looks kind of like I know. It kind of reminds me of a um, Kenneth J. Lane piece. Let's see way over there. Both of them are Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. Okay, that makes sense. So I figured size, it had to be rings. signed. Two size seven rings. Let's see if I can get mm. it so can see them. This is the one that with the exchangeable faux pearl. And I'm trying to see which way that goes. Oh, I have a jewelry there. Oh, I forgot this. Okay, so there you go. Any interest? That's an awesome price on that. Funny enough, I have a, um, what's it called? Which brand is it? Ross Simon bracelet that is sterling that goes really well with that ring on the right side. All righty, we are looking for seven dollars for the lot. Seven dollars for the lot? Yes. Are you kidding me? No. Guys, Joan Rivers. Joan. What? Seven bucks for all three pieces. This is Joan Rivers, and what else? Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers. <laughs> Three pieces of Joan Rivers for seven bucks. Seven size seven, and this is seriously. This is a um. This comes off, but I don't have any of the other pieces. Joan Rivers, seven bucks. I'm getting sweet. Unbelievable! We got Christina in at seven. Sweetening the pot. This what is do you need to sweeten the pot for? Sweetening the pot. Cindy, if you knew how much baggage I have here in this small room. That's amazing. But this is a short necklace, but these are really chunky. These are heavy. No. Okay, we got Christina in at seven looking for eight. I think it looks nice together. Three pieces of Joan Rivers, and I know Kenneth J. Lane makes a very, very similar brooch. And I just sold one of those, the uh, one with the pearl minder on it. I just sold one of those for like $45. All right, Christina at seven, call her down. All right, going once. <laughs> Christina. Gallon twice. <laughs> that is like an incredible deal. Wow, what a deal, Christina. Fair warning. That's really well-made jewelry, too. So that is not going to wear on you anytime soon, Christina. So. She's cracking me up. All right, this came in this box, so I'm putting that back. That can go around there. This can go back with all its little paperwork. <laughs> Are you sure you want this, Christina? You don't have to take it. $7 for three pieces of Joan Rivers? What? <laughs> and a necklace. Why not... wouldn't you, right, Christina? Yes, yeah, she's sure she wants it. All right, so this is faux turquoise, but it is cute. Look at this. So it's got a big heart. Then it's got crosses and hearts and little baby cro crosses up here. And this is, I'm going to start this at $8. Uh, Twenty-four inches. Twenty-four inches. It is a cute piece. And nobody has to know that's not real turquoise. I think it's lovely. All righty. We have got Anna in at $8. Oh, that looks like real turquoise, too. Why? Did you test that? 
Yep. How did it test? It scratches off. It's not turquoise. Wow. Beautiful. The really looks like real turquoise. Somebody did a good job at faking it. We got Anna at eight going once. I think you thought I just got off the turnip wagon, Cindy. <laughs> Sometimes I ask you that and you tell me, no, I don't care. Well, a lot of How times I don't care. How often did you hear her say that, ladies? A lot of times I don't care, but it's not about something like that. Fair warning. <laughs> I'm going to knock your turnip truck over in a minute. All right. Sold at eight to Miss Anna. Uh, hold on. Let me write that. Okay. That's three. All righty. So these are. Thanks, Anna. Marked silver in some fashion. But guess what? They are not. This one is marked a 925, but does not test as 925. But it is a very cute dolphin bracelet. And that one measures uh, seven inches. And this one is also marked sterling. I got a feeling maybe they're silver plated. I don't know. This one is also marked right here. But doesn't test as sterling. That one it says sisters are forever friends and it is a size seven so i am going to sell these together you get both bracelets for um let's do both bracelets for five dollars <laughs> i love Marcy's in at six. Five on those. Am I seeing that right? Yeah, five. five for both, right? Yep. Yeah. Marcy, all you need is five in there, babe. That's too funny because I was thinking six and then I said five, which five is good, but she must have been reading my mind instead of the board. Because <laughs> I almost went six and then I thought, no, nah, I'll do them for five. Going once, going twice. Fair warning, and we are sold to Marcy at five. Thank you, Marcy. All righty, I have as we'll stick with some costume pieces this round. Okay, if I can figure out what this is. All right, so these are all marked pieces, and I will show you in a second. Let me bag these for Ms. Marcy. I'm going to take that brooch out of there so I don't end up putting it someplace where I shouldn't. All right. Like in the trash or something. Okay. Hopefully these fit in this bag. Here we go. The ones that just sold, Cherry? No. No, I wish. I, no, no ankle bracelets. I love ankle bracelets. Okay, let me sign this. Marcy's name. No. Oh, do we have any ankle bracelets? I do have a sterling ankle bracelet. Okay, so this is a Leah Sophia, very pretty Leah Sophia. It's got a braided cording here. Beautiful in caps, really pretty Leah Sophia piece. And that one is 20. The inches, a little over 20 inches. There is the back if you want to see the backs. So nice Leah Sophia. I don't know if this is leather. Let me look here. 
I'm not sure what that is, but I don't think it's leather. Um, so that's the first piece. Second piece is a New York piece, the brand New York. This is going to be a lot. Um, this is New York. It is, let's see, it's a multi-strand chain there. It's got a little tea, tea drop there. That's what you wanted to know, right, Sherry? If we had any glass, glass beads on this. All these are glass. Very pretty piece. It is a about 26 inches with the extender. So again, that one is Leah Sophia. That one is New York. And this one, I cannot remember this. This one's brass on this one. What is this little key thing? I want to say Carol Lee, but I can't remember. Darn it. It's like a little lock. I'll, I'll snoop around uh, this week and see if I can find some, Sherry. Summer's coming. Looks like uh, a seat. I can't, I can't read it. I thought this little heart lock was Carolee, but I could be wrong. Sure. Um, and this is a very long piece. Got a couple of knots in there to get out. This is like 30 inches. It's brass. It's a brass chain. It's a nice brass chain. And it's got these metal beads and this brass sort of whatever you want to call that little point. I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Poke out your eye necklace. Yeah. So there are all three. They're all three signed. And I am going to start this lot at $8. All right. It is a lot. Yes. You get all three pieces for $8. These are all glass beads here. These are either metal or glass, one of the two. They're not acrylic. Then you got brass on this one. You got silver tone. And that sort of faux leather on this one is a Leah Sophia. And this one is New York brand. So they are all three branded. Let's see. What do I want to put out next? Okay, I do have a, uh, a, what you call it, um, Tiffany bracelet if somebody wants to see that. Any interest, or we're going to pass. All right, go ahead and pass. And let's see, I got some really cool charms here. Let me... It is. I don't know how it got to be this late already. It's like, I know, right? Ago. I've been up in this room <laughs> digging through stuff. Okay, I was thinking I thought I had another charm like this, but I guess not. Check this out. This is one of the clip-on charms for, you can use them on those, um, the, like, O necklaces. Or you can clip it on a bracelet, but they work really nicely on the O bracelet. That is a really cute, um... A little water water jug or teapot or whatever you want to call it and this is this is dual art um so this is definitely vintage it's signed uh sterling by jewel art 
And I will start that at 15. It's adorbs. Very adorbs. Adorb. I love little teapots and water jugs and things like that. Anna loves it. Anybody want to come in at 17 on this? If not, I'm going once. And twice. And we're going to call it sold. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Anna. All right, Ro, you're up. That is adorbs. All right, this is a cute little set. Um, I lost my chat. All right, so it's a necklace that's. <laughs> I forget. Seventeen inch, about seventeen inches. But the neat thing about this, the necklace, is this bracelet can hook right onto there and give you another seven inches. So these are the earrings that came with it, and they're clippies. But I found a pair of uh, posts, and you could almost take these off and put these onto the put the ones that match onto the ones that don't, but you still could get away with wearing those. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to put this set out there for seven, seven buckaroos. Seven buckarooskies. It's silver and gold. It really is a cute set. And as long as you don't get your cologne or your the whole set. Wow. Nice. Yeah. I think it's cute. It is a fold over clasp. It's an older set. And like I said, you could add this as an extender to make your necklace longer. How in the world do I keep losing my loops? Where did I just set the other loop? Darn it. I don't know what you do with them. I don't know either. <laughs> I don't. I, I can't don't. find the loop I just had. Oh, my gosh. Well, that's nice and cozy, Rose. Nice and cozy that you can come here and relax like that. Any interest on this little set? I shan't go. I'm going to keep those earrings, those other earrings with it. Okay. I thought that was a cute set. All right. These are absolutely beautiful, and I love them to pieces and millions of pieces. And I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do $6 choice. So this is how this one closes. Really a nice, heavy... Um, I don't know that these are glass, but whatever they are, they're very heavy. And the second piece I'm putting out there is in the same color range. And this, I don't know if this is sterling up here, but I love the, the clasp. Pulls out like that, and then you unhook it like that. I love those kind of... do believe it says 925 right there. So... Um, nice clasp you've got these glass uh and then you've got these little cute cz's in the middle so there's going to be a choice this is three strands and this is only one but they're beautiful oh, let's start bed. we're going to start them what did i say oh let's start them at five five each five for choice and I will put this out there, and I'm going to ask five for this, too, because the sequel is beautiful. I am going to go get a giveaway set up, bro. So we're going to go 
There's three choices. Three choices. Rose is in at five. Anybody want to come in at six? Six buckaroos. If not, I'm going to go once, move it along. Get on twice. Good morning. And we'll call it sold. Rows one, two, or three. Slam a drawer. All three, you got it. I think they gorge. Remember that's sterling. One, two. I just love that rose. Don't you love that? And three. Beautiful pieces. I love the color. Okay. Um, I love this piece. I'm going to start it at 10. These are all real pearls. And I think this is carnelian, but I could be wrong. And then you've got these other, um, I forget what these are called, wedding cake maybe. I'm not sure. It's not sterling, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, those are all real pearls. They're a purplish color. These might not be carnelian. These might be some kind of... See the color in it, Cindy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it could be. Um, maybe it's a faceted coral. I don't know. Well, what did you say your start bid was? $10 on this. Okay. I have to. It's just gorgeous. It's pearls, and I'm guessing it's uh, like a faceted. Um, You've got faceted black, black ones. coral, maybe. Faceted black and faceted red, whatever they are, they're natural and they're beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna do a buy it now. I mean, a what do you call it? Choice off. So you've got this beautiful one. These are glass. I'm not sure if they are onyx. I'm not sure, but these are real. Anna at 10. Rose at 10. I'm sorry. Anna at 12 and Rose is out. So you've got two color, two color. Uh, you've got an orangey. Copper, and this is more of a, a copper. copper and a gold color pearl. Beautiful. And this is a natural stone. So choice of on these. This is a beautiful clasp. It's not sterling. Pretty, though. All right. We are got Anna at 12. We're going once. These are gorgeous. Going twice. I'm going to hit you with my best shot. So anybody who's been hanging around waiting for the... I want jelly beans, Rose. The amazing big old sterling pieces, they're coming. And so it'll be my last round after this. A or B. We've got after a, Rose done, this will be my or last a round. Black or a rust rust color or a burnt orange color. This one, number one. Number one it is. Thank you, Anna. Rose, yeah. are you interested in the second? These are gold. Uh, gold. These are glass. I'm not sure what. I'm not feeling so cold now, though. Okay. Thank you, honey. Right, 
my last. Uh -oh. I'm going to do some really <laughs> outrageous pieces. But some people love them. So um, I'm going to do a starting bid. Actually, we're going to do a buy it now. Um, I buy it now. Five. On choice. So this is really cute. These are all plastic. Very well made. No wear whatsoever on it. This is a Charm and Charlie. So that's the first choice. And the second choice is this. Still got the tag on it. It was $29.99. Actually, it was $60 at one time. It is these beautiful... Oh, I don't know what color. Like a peach color. On a chain, a brass chain, never worn. That's your second choice. Your third choice is. Dang, that's really flashy. I don't know what this looks like a BF. That's a Betsy Johnson. A BJ? Well, that's a Betsy Johnson. Oh my gosh, you just put a Betsy Johnson out there at five? All right, I'm coming in. I'm going to save you from yourself. I'm coming in at five. How cute these are. I want it. Yes, that's a gorgeous Betsy Johnson. All right, and the next one up. And, oh, they're buy it nows, right? Okay, give me the Betsy Johnson. Did I say buy it nows? You did. That goes to you. I'm still putting some out there. This is um, this is really pretty, although I don't go for the chain, but I do love this uh, on that. And the last one I'll put out there is Ubongus. Anybody else want to come in at five? They are so gaudy, Cynthia. At one time, I would have worn them. I don't go for them now. But the more I watch the lady on the weather here up in New England, she wears these kind all the time, and they look so cute on her. This does not look like a Betsy Johnson to me. But that is her tag. That is her tag, yes. It well, looks like a Betsy one. Johnson to me. Good luck selling that one, my friend. Or you can wear it. I picture you wearing that one. I'll probably wear it for a while and then sell it. Five dollars for Betsy Johnson? I mean, come on. Okay. Anybody no, else? There's some pretty pieces in here at five dollars a piece. That would hurt your neck, Cindy, I'm afraid to say, honey. You never know. It might straighten my neck out. Could that could happen? <laughs> All right, we're gonna move on from these. And that is the way it is. In Brookfield on a Wednesday night. Okay, let me get a little giveaway ready. Hmm. That was it, Cindy, on that. All right. Well, this is the last round. So if you have anything else you want to put out there before our giveaway, do it now. Okay. Hold on. Gosh, I've got so much here. I thought I had some other things from today. Hold on just a minute. Let me find it. I don't know what 
It's not cloisonne. It kind of looks like cloisonne. It's one of those import uh, beautiful beaded necklace, all soft pastel. Betsy Johnson, Susan, for five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> How much? I'm gonna I'm gonna put this out there for five. Beautiful piece here. <laughs> now she's giving away cloisonne for five. <laughs> Elizabeth be losing her mind right now. Rose is in at five, looking for six. <laughs> I think Elizabeth really likes these necklaces, so she probably would be losing her mind right now. It's only stuff, my dear. Can be replaced. It may only be stuff, but it's gorgeous stuff. This is pretty. Mm -hmm. All right, we got Susan in at eight. Looking for nine. Rose is in at ten. <laughs> Susan, where have you been? <laughs> Hiding. Been Susan is out. That is such an amazing deal on that. We got Rose right now. High bid at 10. Oops, Randy's in at 11. She knows. Randy knows. Pretty. It's pretty pretty. Miss Randy at 11. Looking for 12. Oh, we got Randy at 13. Rose came in at 12. She just got here. Susan has to work for a living, Rose. Uh, <laughs> we, we, don't, don't. we don't work, do we? I see you're 14 and Roe raised you 15. I mean, Randy raised you 15. Those are beautiful. Oh, I don't have time to clean these earrings tonight, but I will before uh, this oh. scent. And Rose is in at 16. Randy's in at 20. Well, sort of. <laughs> Still got to fight that traffic and make your way home in the evening, though, right? All right. Rose is in at 21. Those guys know what these beads are worth. Randy's in at 25. Yeah, there. Yeah, this is a vintage piece, too. I've had a lot of these. Out to Randy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Randy, great deal on that going once Randy and I just sent your package I sent everybody's package out except for Susan's but yours is getting oh, heard on the wire who <laughs> snaked in there I three three ninety uh, Chelsea's here we got bird on the wire in at 26 Randy says oh no you don't Randy's in at 30 <laughs> he said nice try 30 Bird on the wire says fat chance 35. Oh, Randy's at 40. There you go. I've got um, a few more things I'll do really good deals on. Because I can. Yeah, Champlieve is more like the uh, um, the what do you call that type of enameling? Um, oh, it's right on the tip of my tongue with the G. Um, oh my God, why can I not think of it? All righty, let me know if you were out, Bird on the Wire. Oh, she is out. Okay, going once. Guilloche, that's what I'm trying to think of. Fair warning. 
it has a uh, texture underneath the enameling, basically, and sold at 42 Randy. Nice, 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 nice. Yes. Randy. She just pretty much gave me a um, Betsy Johnson for five dollars too <laughs> before y'all got here. This is turquoise and coral. This is old and gorgeous. And I'm going to start at 30. Okay. Sterling. Is that uh, cinnabar? What is that red piece stuff? I thought it was uh, the way it has pock marks in it, kind of like. Oh, is it something else? I don't know why it looked like yeah. cinnabar for a minute. I thought it was like cool. some kind of carving. Maybe it's apple coral. Yeah, looks I like apple it. coral. Definitely looks like coral to me. But I'm not a coralologist. I have not cleaned this. I just think it's gorgeous. Gorgeous piece of jewelry. And it's old. It appears to be old. Excuse me. All righty. We got Joe in a third. Darn, I just realized my thing didn't even, when I clicked it, it didn't enter. There we go. We got Joe in at 30. Hey, looking Joe. for um, looking for 31. <laughs> is this Sterling? Yes. yes, I see Sterling. So looking for 32 on this. That's amazing. Now that is turquoise. Yes. <laughs> I don't believe your scratch if it doesn't scratch this time. Is that a uh, Silpata? What's that tag? There's no tag. It's just oh, a okay. So it's a little thing. It looked like a Silpata tag for a second, the shape of it. Mm -hmm. We got Rose in. Rose, um, the Silver Muse got their first. Rose, um, Flo, you'll have to come in at 34. There you go. Rose Flo is in at 34. Well, wow, that's some really nice chunks of turquoise there. We got uh, Joe in at 36. It's nice. And Thank old you, Miss Anna. This is what I like in turquoise. It looks it looks old. It looks vintage. Rose is out. Um, so we just need to hear. We got right now. Top bid is Joe at uh, 36. Let me know if you're out, Rose Flo. Rosa is out. Our beautiful Miss Rosa. Rose Flo is in at 38. There's a pretty, pretty irresistible strand of turquoise, isn't it? We got Joe in at, whoops, 40. She did hit us with the good stuff right at the end, didn't she? The extra good stuff. I can say all my stuff is good. Well, yes, it's all good, or you wouldn't be selling it. But all right, Rose Flow is out, so we're going to start counting it down at forty to Joe going once. Going twice. I tried to get you out of there at thirty, but they came in before I could even start counting, Joe. Fair warning. And sold to Joe at 40. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Joe. Can I Thank do two more things? Thank you, ladies, for your bids. Thank you, Rose and Rosa. Yes, I can do two more things. Yeah, go ahead. Right. Um, I'm going to start these earrings at... I'm going to start them at 25. These are turquoise. It is. I just need to clean them. I just got them, and I will put new backs on. But these are gorgeous. Hold on, and I will hold them up. There is no twirl type. I haven't found any mark on them. Unless that's a mark. Hmm. All right, it just says sterling. These are gorgeous, though. Like I said, I will clean them, put ear backs on them. 
gently so I don't knock out the sterling. That's what's so hard when I find these. There's always a piece of, not always, but a well, lot of time. Part bit, I'm sorry. 25. God bless you. know I like these too. Christina's in. Christina's in at 25, and I got to be good. I can't buy any more, but those are so amazing. Did you buy the pendant that twirled like that from me, Christina? can't remember if I sold that or kept it. I think I kept it. I can't remember, though. We got Christina in at 25, looking for 27 on this. Gorgeous earrings. That is a spectacular deal on those earrings. I'm going to put them in a box so they don't get knocked around before I get to clean them. I can't imagine. Imagine inlaying those yeah. on the curve like that. How you would have to leave that silver hair gal in at 27. Hi, silver hair gal. Can you imagine how you would have to cut that inlay to you get it to her? There's one, one piece missing. We got Christina in at 29. Always amazes me, though, how skilled people can be cutting because that inlay is so thin and you have to cut it to curve around like that. You can't. You can't fit just a flat piece of inlay in there. It's got to have some curve on the bottom, right? The skill it must take, Rose. Okay, Christina's in at 29. Um, looking for 31. We got silver hair gal in at 31. Silver hair gal, you need to be purpleized, blueberized. Yes, she's uh, been with us a long time. You can blueberize her. You should have her information. She, If she's not in the database. Okay. I think I do. That's the whole thing. But she's been on your channel, not mine yet, I guess. No, but she's right. been with me for years. So I didn't know if she was in the database or not. Next time she types, she's going to be blue. Anybody else need to be blueberized? I think you've been coming to my channel, what, five, six years now, Silver Hair Gal? I'm, I know, right, Rose, or uh, Randy, it's good that she's resting. Okay, we broke her down. Christina is out. Yeah, it's been a while, at least yeah, that long, almost since I started Silver Hair Girl. Going once. Going twice. Yeah, she worrying me too right now. Because uh, the one thing I think I told you guys the other day about Lydia, she does not like to admit when she's ailing. So if she's admitting to it, she's obviously not feeling well. Sold. All righty. In the box they're going because I don't want them to break before they get Those there. went to Silver Hair Gal at 31. Okay, I've got one more thing I'll put out there. And then I'll let Cindy do the giveaway. Well, I gotta um, do my round and then I'll do it. This is my 18 inches. I love this liquid silver. This is signed underneath all this. And it says Sterling and um, Joe, can you wear um, a size 7 ring on any of your fingers, like your pinky or anything? Go ahead, bro. I'm sorry. Huh? So it says Sterling 925 behind the stone here. This is just a lovely piece. We'll start it at 25. Is that uh, um Porcupine quills. Cindy, I don't, I'm not sure because I'm I've only seen a couple of porcupine quills uh, work. Uh, if they're hollow, if it's hollow, it's probably quills. I can't tell though if they're bone or quills. I don't know. I I honestly don't. I don't. I'm not experienced enough with that. My girlfriend used to make the jewelry, and um, I used to see the jewelry made, but I did not. I can't guarantee what um, we got rose in at 25 I does do have some turquoise he she it looks like to me um 
Well, see, they're darker on the end. I don't know if that's because you burn them. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. you burn the ends of them. If they're burnt on the end, they are definitely yeah, percopine they do, quills. They do look like they've been burnt. Yeah, those are percopine quills. And those are expensive, guys. They're too expensive. All we right. We are looking for 27 getting. on this piece. She used to find the roadkill and get out of the car and pluck the pluck. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> That's the way they do it. They go looking for the roadkill, porcupine roadkills, because they're kind of expensive to buy the uh, porcupine quills. She get them, harvest them, and do her thing. Anybody want to come in at 27? Otherwise, I'm going to start counting her down for rows. We're going once. You rarely see those used in anything but uh, native and maybe tribal jewelry. Fair warning. And mostly native jewelry. Sold. Christina, can you hear it? <laughs> so, yeah, if it's got the, the um, porcupine quills, more than likely it is native. All righty, let's get Rose off the screen there. Sold to Rose at 25, Rose. <laughs> okay, so the reason I'm asking you, Joe, are you still here? Because I bought a little gift ring for you. Um, it's a size 7. I'm hoping it fits. It's a little gift. It's a Mexico Thanks, ring. But it's more of a pinky ring because you've been getting so much um, abalone from me lately. So I bought this little abalone ring for you as a gift. I just want to make sure it is marked Mexico. I just want to make sure it will fit you. Do you, you let me know if you can wear a seven on any of your fingers, Joe. Yes, I could use a little bit of a polish in there. But let me know if it'll fit you, Joe. It's a gift. Okay. I'm still trying to figure out who asked for the um, who asked for the uh, Star of David over the weekend. I found one, and um, a Mexico one, but I don't want to bring it out until whoever that was that asked for it over the weekend is in the chat. Okay, so my first piece are these really beautiful. Um, these are London blue topaz, and they have right there in the middle is a tanzanite. It's kind of washing out the color, but that stone right in the middle is a tanzanite. And then you have another London blue. And these are a true London blue on the color of these. Gorgeous. Really beautiful stones. And then you see that... Uh, a little pants of night in the middle. I am going to start these at 26. Tiny little marquee shaped, but looks really pretty with the London blue that Tanzanite does. It's a pretty. It's not a real dark Tanzanite, but it's a Tanzanite nonetheless, and it looks really nice with the London blue. I couldn't remember if it was love. Was that you, or love? Or Did you see what I found, love? I didn't know if it was love or uh, Nicola. But Nicola was here when you asked. Somebody, as soon as they came in over the weekend, said, Did, did you have any Star of Davids? And I just don't know who it was. I was thinking um, that it was Lola, but maybe it was love. In yep, interest, okay, she said love was asking any interest in um, these at 26. Very beautiful. These are not Vermeer, guys. These are regular sterling. They just have a little bit of a uh, yellow kind of uh, almost a yellowish tarnish to them. I hate that yellow tarnish. It's a strong word, Sandy. 
Well, I, I would rather be cleaning off the black stuff because then I know it's vintage. It's newer jewelry that tends to get that. Um, the newer sterling tends to get that yellow more than black tarnish. Let's see if these have anything on them. Looks like S and G. Looks like these are signed S and G. I'm not sure who the S and G is, but they are signed and they are nicely made. But let's move along. Put these in a bag so I don't lose them. I'm going to give away costume. All right. I will bring that out here shortly, love, if that was you. All right. I have a beautiful. Put this down here. This is testing as spinel in the middle but i suspect it's just the very end of peridot but they are peridot on the outside and the center beautiful pendant though gorgeous is it peridot yeah it's peridot awesome yeah, it's just a really gorgeous pair, though, too. And this one is signed also. Wait a minute. What does that say? I think that one looks like it's signed pretty much the same as the other one, which I thought it said S and G, but maybe it's S and S. Um, what are you starting it at? Mm, this is beautiful. I'm going to start this one at 46. All right. That is a great price. These are some really nice. That's a really big pair, though. They're, you don't find them that big very often. The bigger they are, the more you're going to pay, and they just don't get super big on peridots. But that's a pretty good size. That's at least maybe four carats on that peridot. This is stunning. This piece is totally stunning. All right, T. This is a Mexico, and it is a very big star of David, and I will start that one out at 32. Roland, Picker's in the house. Hey, Roland, Mike. Mike. How are you? How are you? Okay, girls, you can ask him how he is now. This one. <laughs> give you a length on this one this is probably one of the biggest star of david's i've found since i started this actually it measures two and a quarter inches from the tail down to the tip of the star love two you, and a quarter inches we got love in at 32 oh i didn't even put star in my That's okay. mom, she already put the bid in looking for 34 miss you miss you man Love is saying, think wisely, think wisely, people, think wisely. All right, we are going once here. And, and I'm so wait. happy I found that for you. Um, I was looked through my stuff the other day and didn't see it, and I popped there. It was when I looked uh, either yesterday or this morning, I can't remember. There it was, staring me in the face. Sold, sold, sold. To love, love. Thank you, love. Is that one big enough for you, love? You got the little one I just packaged up to go. I can't remember. The little charm. Okay. I'm going to do just a couple more, and they're going to be small. Well, I'm going to do a bracelet, and then I'm going to do a smaller little turquoise pendant here. Let me. Mikey, aggravating your roommate.
Hmm. I am not actually. You should be because huh. I pray for him every day. Is are you still here, Sue Pal? Susie. I want her opinion on something. I'm not 100% certain on this. I was going to call it turquoise, but when I got to looking at the banding sort of on it. I didn't think it was turquoise. Yeah. Um, I see some banding in it now. It kind of looks like, what is that blue? Let's see. I just bought some pieces of this in um, Spears. I don't know. Could be cerulean, but I don't know. If cerulean bands like that, but it's beautiful. Oh, leaving? It, it doesn't look like a banded, uh, um, dyed banded piece, but I have no idea. But it is pretty. It is a Mexico piece. Let me get rid of some of this tarnish so you can see the mark. We have been lifting you up, Mike. We love you. Absolutely. I am love you. Thank so you. Happy. Happy. Love. Got rid of a little bit of that. So this is. I thought it was too dark for that, Joe. This did have a mark. Is Joe still here? It could be blue lace, but it's very dark. It doesn't really look dyed, but I guess it could because I'm seeing a little bit of matrixing too, like around the edges. Um, very pretty, but I am going to start that at 20. I'm not sure what it is, but it's a really pretty pendant. I do think it's pretty, too. It's the color of the cerulean, but I don't think cerulean bands like that. I'm not sure, though. Joe, did you say, and I missed it, whether you can fit a size 7 ring on any of your fingies? Hopefully even a pinky ring. Christina's in. Got it. Counter down for... Oh, well, cleaning jewelry, how dirty my fingies are already. Mine I wrote all over myself. Going twice. Fair warning. And she said no. You can't? Oh, no. Uh, I'm <laughs> sorry. I was hoping that would fit you. All right. Well, I'll find something. Well. Thank you, Christina. All right. So I think this next, uh, well, I got two more pieces and I'm done. Um, next one is going to be a. Maybe, maybe they zag it. Maybe it's a part of the. Could be it could be a dyed lace agate, but it if they dyed it, they did such a great job. Because the color really looks natural, but it could be dyed. Christina, whatever it is, is exactly what it is. Yeah, it's it's exactly what it is. That's right. Just pretty though, Christina. All right. So this I love the setting on this. This is let's see. Just has a. We always think about you, Joe. Nine two five mark. I am not sure. Um, this does not look native. It does not look Mexico. So no idea on this. Um, pretty though, and it is a size size seven. How it's set right now, and I am going to start this at thirty eight. And this stone, I, don't know. I swear, it, it's green and a, a green and white mottled look to it, but it totally does not look like moss agate. So I'm not sure what it is. I was just asking for anklets. Sherry, are you here? Were you asking for the anklets, my dear? I do like this. Um, I do like this setting on this is pretty. 
Not sure what this is, though. Like I said, it's a kind of a greenish, grayish, whitish color. But it isn't moss agate, though. So I'm not really sure what that is. Wow, Cinnamon, I didn't know you had TB. Holy cow. Uh, man. I have one that's, um, I'm just. That sucks, Cinnamon. Uh, you have to go through chest x-ray and all of that stuff when you have to get TB tested, don't you? I don't know if these are sterling or not. I'm going to put it in your package. It's just a little um, liquid silver one. Might not even be your style, but I'm putting it in your package. Yeah, unfortunately, if you've ever had TB and you need to uh, apply for a job or anything where they need a TB test, because you're always going to have a false positive if you've ever had it before. So the little uh, the little stick TB test is not going to work for you. You're going to come up positive. So you have to go and get a blood work and an x-ray. So it becomes a big pain in the butt for someone who's had TB before. All right. If there's no interest in that, let's move along. A lot of our uh, older Asian women in our in Welcome. when I worked in geriatrics um, always had a false positive too. Okay, this is not sterling. This is a Monet, but it's a very pretty Monet, and it is a silver tone Monet, which oh, is wow. pretty rare. And it measures just a hair over seven inches. Beautiful Monet, though. Let's see. Okay, there. I got it that time. I didn't even have to ask Ro how to unfasten it. Really nice, though. And I will start that at $8. That is a beautiful Monet. It is indeed. I know. I remember there was a time where if I put this up for bid for 30, it would have flew out. Not too many Monet peoples anymore. Do you always test positive, Roland? Or um, was it a, truly a false negative? I mean, a false positive. Well, a lot of it's coming in the country unannounced, Rose. <laughs> Shall we say. Wow. Yeah, Randy, that sucks. All right, if there's no interest in that, let's go ahead and get set up for the giveaway. You guys know how unusual Silver Tone Monet is, right? Might as well have, uh, might as well be Sterling Silver, really. Now, if I could only get in there to get it off, am I going to have to get my husband to get this off because I can't get my finger in there? Yep, I'm going to have to get my husband to take that off. I can't get in there. All right, are you ready for the giveaway, Ro? Um, I am. So this is, if you haven't entered yet, go ahead and sign in or um, put in pound sign um, love. And let me find another one more giveaway. Tammy's in at eight on that. Oh, okay. Now if I could only get it off my wrist, Tammy. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get it. I got it. It's just like it's cute. Yeah, this is a really very nice Monet. It really is. Going once, going twice, 
fair warning and sold right there all at once. I bet you're cringing. Susan Did you count it down? Too. Susan was in too. No, she came in after I sold it, but okay. I got you. Gotcha. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, I'm still in top chat. That's why I'm not seeing your countdown. Okay. I am sorry if I missed anything. I just realized I was still in top chat. Um, I, Angela. I have one. I have another one, Susan. I just have to find it. Like this? Yeah, it's oval like that. I don't know if it has the little lines in the front, but it is Monet. I'm making a note right now, my darling. We've got this was Tammy, right? All right, this is Susan. Look for Monet. Yeah, those are any of that silver tone, Monet. I always grab it because it's very hard to find, and it's usually pretty desirable on the silver stuff. All right, let me, um, it'll be your present from me, Susan. Let me get back over here with my giveaways. I was looking for one more. I just had a handful of them. And I thought I should bring these out. So well, we're in this I'm room. doing one costume piece. This is a, um, Leah Sophia. This is unusual. This is says and you see these sometimes and i don't know what the deal is here but it'll say sterling front and so the frame on this is not sterling i think it's stainless steel but the leaf is sterling i'm considering selling mine susan so i'm going to put that up there um as a giveaway also so again, the the maple leaf is sterling silver, but the frame is not. That's a nice big pendant. Then I have a little sterling silver. Um, oh, hold on. Olga's saying, Cindy, stop. Sell me the turtle, <laughs> please. <laughs> it's a little turtle. All right, I'll sell you the turtle. Let me... Um, <laughs> I'll, is that how I I'll, want to read it? <laughs> I'll do the turtle for seven, Olga. At uh, six, Olga. You can have it for six. And I'll find another. Put your six in out. quick. Put your six in. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you get that one other one from me recently? I think this one's a little bit smaller than that one. I had one almost identical, but it was bigger. But this one's pretty uh pretty heavy duty though it's a nice nice well made one even though it's smaller it's well made all right so old Olga. all right Olga. there i've got a package i may go ahead and mail it this week me randy really uh, i wouldn't call it closing a though it's closing a to me is more uh lifted than that that's more of a flat stone you know i can't explain it um ro go ahead and show what you have i need to find another piece for my giveaway all righty ah i have one of christina's chickens i just it you have to hold it a certain way to get it to squeak i have this cute little these aren't glass they're just it's just a cute little necklace i'm going with um costume stuff tonight i have a cute little like a pretty little rose vintage necklace. I have these faux pearl earrings, gold tone. This is glass. Cute little necklace. Or I have two free shipping. Those are my giveaways tonight. But Susan, see, I, I have some Monet uh, earrings I'll send you. Some Monet. They're not clippies. They're... Um, they're, they're uh, pierced earrings. I'll send those to you. Pinky rings? Let's see. Here's Olga, I have to do a giveaway here. I read typos, Olga. I'm, I'm Cindy's best friend. Yeah. <laughs> but I was going to send her a giveaway, you know, that real pretty glass necklace. But I thought I'd hold on to it through the weekend. 
in case you buy something. But if you want me to send it, I'll sell it, send it tomorrow. Everybody else's stuff, if you paid, is out. Unless you've asked me to hold it. I'm going to finish my invoicing and hopefully get my stuff to the post right. office tomorrow before it closes. I want to get it out before the for the weekend. So um, let's see what is going on there. Oh, how cool. Okay, so somebody was asking for an anklet. Who was that? It was asking for an anklet. Just realized this is an anklet. It's a very delicate anklet, but it's an anklet. You got it from me, Randy. What else did I miss, honey? All right. Susan said, Cindy, let me buy Tammy. Tammy's bracelet. Okay. That's what I'm assuming it means. Thank you, Susan. That was very sweet of you. Let me buy uh, Tammy's. I will. I don't know if you're just in it for the Monet brand, Susan, but I got some really pretty Monet earrings here. I'm going to send you to. These are a Monet um, post. All right. We got you, Susan. These are pretty. I'm going to send these to you, Susan. All right, I think I'm caught up. Okay, I'm. Um, did somebody want a? Is whoever in here that wanted a um, ankle bracelet? This is nine with a ten inch extender, and it's a very delicate Thanks, sterling everybody. thing. But um, if somebody still wanted that, very I would delicate. do that for eight dollars on that. Sherry, you interested in that for eight? If not, we'll put it up for bid. Um, I do have a heavier one. I just will have to dig it out for tomorrow's auction. Is it Sherry that wanted it? Do it for Sherry, six. Yeah, Sherry's Sherry wants it. Six if Sherry wants it. Put your six in and it be yours. Toe rings and the anklets again. Summer is coming. Okay, I've got some. I got a. Um, I know I have at least one nicer anklet that I will pull out. All right, Sherry, you got it for six. Okay. Unless you want to pay a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I know I had more pendants than that. Where did they go? Oh, I must have something cuter. Uh... Oh, here we go. Okay. All right. So there you go. Those are my giveaways. So this is Verme. This is Sterling and CZ. This is a Sterling leaf and a, um, I believe, stainless steel frame. And then this is a costume piece. It is a Leah Sophia. Then, of course, I have two $4 jewelry bucks. So those are my choices. Um, and, Ro, you showed yours already. Yeah, I'm going to put a couple more things out there, though. Okay. A couple other little goodies. They're just cost them, but... So, they're cute little... This is kind of cute. It looks like um, Snowflake Obsidian. It's only a cost them little pendant. This looks brass. I'm not sure if that's a real stone. It's cold. And then this is um, a sterling wannabe. But I don't know what the stone is. So there's a lot of little things to choose from there. That's a nice uh, stone necklace there, too, with the, what are those, like, horns no, hanging off of it? It's just No, the one all the way over to the right. That looks like stone. That's Isn't stone. that stone? Mm-hmm. A glass. Nice. And it's R&R, and, R, and I don't know who R&R R other than R&R. Um, I'll look and see what I have, love, and I will um, uh, message you about it. I know I don't right now. I am very low on, um, if I have any at all, like 
smaller or thinner like necklace style chains but i think that that one could accommodate a little bit bigger so i'll, I'll send you a picture those, and you can tell me which one you want i have those 24 inch brand new i have some of those i'm charging 10 for them it's almost what i paid if you want a um Oh, that would be perfect for that, love. And I probably can't beat that price either, love. Do you want one of those, love? I yeah, can't that, that those would be absolutely perfect for her pendant, and I but I can't beat that price on it. So all right, let me um I can't get to them now because all my ster sterling is behind my but um I'll bring them out this weekend, but I'm gonna go ahead and write love you. let me know it's a ten dollar chain it's 24 inches show it to her, bro. go ahead and show it to her. i can't get to it oh okay it's way behind let me let me make sure i can't get to it don't roll oh i got puppies in you here. got puppies all right and bring them on out of here i gotta get you to do this one she don't roll uh, it i'm not rolling honey well, just come here, don't want to run her come toes me. over <laughs> the puppy the puppy behind you. Again. Oh, wait, I might be able to get to them. Don't let her squish the puppy, Bob. I don't want to run over the puppy. Can't have the puppy getting run over. No, 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 no. <laughs> Hit and run. <laughs> All right, let me show you, gals. All right, so they're 24 inches. These are brand new. I had a bunch of them, but I don't now. But they're heavy box chains. Heavier than what we usually use on regular jewelry. So it's up to you if you want one. Love, that is the perfect size and length for that Star of David, that chain that she's offering you. And I would not be able to match that price. So I know, uh, this is a deal. Definitely a good deal. And Christina, I do have. She wants it. Let me make sure I have another one before I say I do. Ro just got a really good deal on all those chains, and I just there's no way I could match that price with an equivalent chain. All right, I have two, so I can give you love one and Christina if you want one. I have some 30 inch, I think. Hold on, no, Angela, she might have some longer ones. Do you have a package going to Canada for Angela? I don't think I do. I just mailed one to her, so I don't have one right now either. I've already sent mine to her. All right. I have a 30-inch, and that's a $20. The same exact chain, only 30 inches. And that one's 20 Yeah, that one's 20 I could do it for 18 Come on, Come on, Come on. Angela, I might be able to come up with some similar chains, but I probably can't do it at ten dollars. But but um, Hold love. On. I'm gonna see if I have another one, Angela. I'm gonna see if I have another one in this bag. All right. So love, you. You've got one, and Christina, you've got one. Those are called. Those. Christina said, "Let Angela have hers." I think I have another one. I'm looking right now. Okay. Boy, you're going to have to get some more of those. You held on yeah. to them forever and nobody yeah. wanted yeah. them. And now that you finally sent and them I back, did. everybody wants them. All right, them. I have another 24-inch for Angela. Okay, so you got one for all three. Angela, Christina, and Love all got a 24-inch. Angela, I'll hold on to yours until you have a package. I don't mind that. Okay, so let me put these on the... Did the package I sent you come yet, Angela? And did they end up charging you any kind of uh, customs charge on a gift? Because there were, everything in your package was all gifted items. So I sent it as a gift. And I'm just curious if you got charged anything on it. Okay, Angela wants one also. That's a fantastic deal. Even even if you added shipping on it, you still couldn't go in the store and buy that necklace for twenty five. 
All right, I got the three girls. Anybody interested in the 30 for 28? What did I say? No, 18. God. On the 30, you said 20, so you went from 20 to 18. <laughs> 18, so 30 inch, 18. Good deal, guys. Super good deal. That's easily a $40 chain, the, the 30 inch ones. They're nice, thick, and they're nice and heavy chains, guys. They're uh, good for a medium to large pendant for sure. I might have more in that box back there. I can't get to all my stuff. Yeah, I imagine you'll get it in the next couple of days, Angela. The international mail is a little slow, but domestic mail is like a snail right now. Oh, that's um, Snowflake Obsidian in that pendant, isn't it? How pretty. Yep, it's costume, but it's pretty. Yeah, it's got a nice snowflake in it. All right, so did you didn't show them the 30-inch, did you? Well, it looks exactly like the other. Okay, well, it's longer. <laughs> let's do it then. <laughs> okay. We got 22 out of 29, so I'm going to go ahead and do the giveaway before anybody else leaves us. So first two, let me make sure I'm showing it yet. First two, three will be for Roberta. Mary McDuff. Hi, Mary. I didn't even know you were here. Okay, what did I do? Are you writing it down? If not, Miss Anna will probably get it. I got gotcha. you. All right. Um. Two is Tammy Poole. Yeah, I already forgot who your first one was. That's why I wanted you to write it down. <laughs> That's no, terrible. Write, um, I always write them down as we go. And your third one is... Olga. It's Olga. All right. Let's get back over here to her. She has some nice pieces out there, guys. Mary, I just sent your package. <laughs> I just sent everybody's package. All right. So this is a glass. And I love the rubber chicken. <laughs> this is, these are all costume. We're going costume with costume night. This was uh, supposed to be sterling, but it's not. But it's still beautiful. These are some beautiful faux pearl that really look like pearl. Oh, I have a pair of those. They do look like rice pearls, don't they? This is a very pretty little mm. rose, like a painted rose. That's a vintage piece. That is a piece of uh, co uh, copper, I guess. No, not copper. Right. Right? This little... He squeaks when he feels like it. I don't yeah, know. it's like a vintage brass pendant, too. He squeaks when he feels like it. and then okay. you. Do you have, you have another chicken? Because I totally got to have one of those chickens. I do, Cindy. All right. Send me a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Hold on, Susan. I will, honey. All righty. You're going to have to tell the order because I forgot, Ron. What? On the order for your... Mm. Mary first. Okay. Miss Mary. Oh, free shipping. You Tammy. know you can text me now too, Susan. Tammy Poole is next. Miss Tammy. <clears throat> oh no oh gosh okay we'll talk about that right at the end Susan um, and we'll uh, we'll we'll do some prayer that definitely needs prayer thank you Susan did the buffalo earrings sell 
Buffalo earrings. Tammy wants the chicken. You got it, Tammy. It's a buffalo Cindy. It's when he feels like it. What buffalo oh, earrings? You're next. Oh, you mean those little bear earrings with the broken leg? Mm -hmm. Yeah, those sold. I don't think this I have any. Why well, the rose? The rose is also glass. This is cute, though. This is cute little. I'm thinking she means that one. All righty, everybody. God, devastated isn't the word for it, Susan. Wow. All right. Um, let me know when you're to the end of yours. I got distracted yeah. here a little bit. Yeah. All right. Okay, I'm going to draw three more <clears throat> for me. I'm going to have to write mine down or I will not remember. Bird on a wire. Mm, cool. I have a package I'm just about to release for you too, Bird on a Wire. I already sent it. I can't remember. I know I was holding something for another purchase, and then I think I got something to add to it too. Mike. Mike, Mike, other Mike. Mike, Mike, too. Cindy, I got to run next door. I'll be right back. Christina. I'll be right back. All righty. So I'll do this while you're gone. And then um, when you come back, I need prayer row. Okay. You know, wait till you get back to tell everybody why we need prayer. Okay, let me get back over here. Okay, so I've got first um, burn on a wire. So we've got the Sterling CZ. That is really um, cute. It's made. I like the way it's made. It's got um, little CZs around the bale. That's cute. And then we got the Verme Angel, also a little pendant. That one's going to be fun finding a chain for, but if I find one that fits it, I'll holler. Um, this one is a, um, it's also a pendant, but the outside is not sterling, just the leaf is. And then I have the, um, this has the, I think this was 20, 21 inches, something like that. This is a, a Leo Sophia, beautiful piece. So those are your choices, um, Bird on a Wire. Let me get some bags ready to go here. Bird. Bird, 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 bird. It is pretty, Susan. I was really surprised when it didn't test sterling the first time I tested this part of it. And then I flipped it over and went, ah, okay. There are this brand. Most of the pieces they produce are like that. The top part of it is always sterling, but the bottom is usually stainless steel. Okay. So, always remember to check whatever's on the top of those because it's usually half and half sterling and stainless. Bird on a wire wants the little pendant. This one? This one or the angel? On the left. Okay, so you want the, the heart. Okay. If I'm wrong, holler at me. 
Hi, Cynthia. You got here just in time to talk to Shaker. Okay, Mike, Mike. Um, you like Mike. Other Mike. Mike, Mike. That's the only way I know how to say Mike number two. We call him Mike, Mike. That sounds better than Mike number two, right? <laughs> Plus the two $4 jewelry bucks also. Okay, gotcha. If Mike is not here, I'm going to go ahead and give him a leaf pendant. Mike wants the leaf pendant. Okay, you got it, Mike. Awesome, everybody. Okay, so number three, Christina. Plus the jewelry box, Christina. Jewelry bucks, please. You got it, Christina. All right, let me put this back in the big bag. I had a whole bag out here of giveaways, and I could not find them when we started. So I don't know where they went. Oh, here they are. Of course, now that I've already done the giveaways, here's my bag of giveaways. Okay. Also lost one of my... Um, Ross Simon earrings on the floor somewhere. Ooh, hurry up. Find it before you run over it. <laughs> it's I think it's it's up higher. I think it's up where the chair doesn't usually roll, so I think I'm okay there. Let's see, that was who was that last one? Christina. Okay. All right, so um Susan just messaged me. She wanted to let everybody know. And Lucinda actually gave um, permission to talk about this live on air. And I don't know if she's listening, but if you're listening, Christina, we are so thinking about you. We send all the love um, and blessings to you that we can. But you guys know she talked about her little grandson just coming home from the hospital that uh, wasn't doing very well where well, her grandson passed away. Um, I'm not sure, Susan, do you know how old he was? I know he was pretty young. So as you can imagine, her family is really, really devastated. I'm sorry, Cindy. So, who, who are we talking about? Lucinda. Oh. Did I say Christina? I'm sorry. I meant Lucinda. Mm. So Lucinda's little grandson, though, I, I know she talked about it before in the chat about her grandson being very sick and had been in and out of the hospital um, for quite a while now. So he isn't, he um, is, is with the Lord now. So can you say some prayer for us, Ro? I will indeed. <sighs> I know tough one. I'm sorry to hit you with that. Um, no, I know. I know that all children are with God. There is no way that God puts them anywhere, anywhere, not purgatory, not waiting. They're directly in the face of the Lord, in his arms. Yeah, he was uh, in the ICU, um, the NICU, for like three months, Susan said, and was very, I remember him only weighing like ounces. I remember him not being very big at all. So, um, was yeah. He born? He was a preemie. Directly to the Lord. He's he's so happy right now. I, I just want to say, if anybody is not into prayer, if you don't want to pray, just, just mute or um, leave. I, I don't want to offend anybody, but I will stand firmly and say I am not ashamed to pray. I am not ashamed to speak the name of the Lord. I am not afraid to tell you that he is the only way to heaven. <laughs> Father, we come before you tonight with so many, um, I don't want to call them problems, Lord. It's life. We come here, we live life, and we have obstacles, and we need to learn how to uh, overcome them. And it's easier to overcome them 
when you are directly embedded in our hearts because you know everything you know the after before you know the before after you know everything you're everywhere and no matter how sad or how lonely or how depressed or how needy or any other negative words in this world lord no matter how we feel you're with us just the same it's not you that puts it on us you pull us through it and lord i just want to lift lucinda and her family up i want to lift people up that have lost spouses and, and sisters and brothers and aunts and uncles, father, all of them. We all have to come to that point of dying. But when it when it hits us this way for an infant or a child or, or a loved one to die, we, we don't know how to handle it. And I know that your love conquers all. If we just look to you, we'll know all the answers eventually. We don't have them now. We do not have the answers now. We think we do, but we don't. But it will all come full circle and you will let us know everything when when it's our time. But right now, Father, I lift my friends up as I do every day in this community, whether they're here tonight or not. I lift them up, Father, and I ask that you bless them, that you heal them, that you prosper them, that you send them love, that you always I ask that you put your arms around them and let them know that you are real, that they can come to you and seek you themselves, that you'll be just as comforting to them as you are to anybody else that calls out to you, Father. Father, I bind Satan in the name of Jesus. I bind him from my friend. Your word says that if we bind on earth, it shall be bound in heaven. If we loose on earth, it shall be loosed in heaven. I bind Satan from my friends, Lord, from their, their activities, from their, their finances, from their marriages, from their children going awry. I bind that, Father. And I loose their angels. I loose their angels that they're encamped around each and every one of them. We have more than one angel. We can command them. We can ask them. We can command them to do your will in our lives. And I thank you that they are camped around these people, Father, that they're ministering to them, that they're bringing them comfort fresh from your mouth, Father, to their ears. In Jesus' name, Lord, lift the sadness and bring us joy. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you, Ro, for saying that. And I um, I cannot, I, I get the job done when I'm on my own, but I can never be that eloquent with my prayers so i'm um always so happy that you uh, are always so willing so thank you so much um and lucinda if you're watching now or later our hearts really go out to you i don't even i don't even know what's happening lately but um both edna and gianna both recently lost grandchildren too um you know babies that were just not ready to be born, I guess. So that's very painful. And let's see, Chris, Susan did put something in the chat about what caused his death. Let me get up here. This is like, well, I'm not even going to speak on this because I'm just going to get mad. She said the doctor sent him home with a cold and they took him back to an emergency this a.m. and he was in full sepsis his intestines were fl inflamed he is with the Lord uh, so devastating ah okay so I know the rest of the nurses in the chat are thinking the same thing that I am and I'm not going to go there because I don't want to cause Lucinda any any more pain um, but wow and just keep keep Lucinda's family in your prayers. He is he is with the Lord. He is no longer in pain. Um, but Lucinda and and her family are in pain, and they're going to be in pain. You can't even imagine all all of those you, that your mothers can. I mean, you're bonded with that baby before it's even born, but you can't even imagine how much you can bond with a. A baby in three months like the most intense bonding ever and you know all those people that weren't carrying the baby and all those people that didn't get to meet or feel what it felt like to have that baby inside them 
um, they are so bonded to a baby after three months. So they are all, I'm sure, severely grieving. I Exactly, Susan. I mean, three months is a long time to bond with an infant. I mean, you, you all know, you know how it is. Even if you adopted a child, you're it's bonded with it. As soon as you put that baby in your arms, um, you're bonded. I agree. That's why every day, everybody, I say so many times, it's not just idle words. They're not empty words. I say pray for one another because our prayers mean something to God. They don't have to be eloquent. They don't have to be these and those. You can just go to him. He's our father. He's our daddy, our Abba in heaven. And he, he, he hears every single word. Agreed, Susan. That's kind of a ridiculous thing to miss for a premature baby. I mean, that is something on a premature baby you should be looking for. Monitoring or intestinal problems. But, um, you know, all, only only solace for me is that he is no longer in pain because that had to be painful. That had to be, you know, so I'm I'm um, I'm sure God spared that poor little body all that pain. He'll also comfort Lucinda. He will. Yes. Um, so guys, thank you so much. And I, you know, I hated to end that way. Um, no, I think it's important that we, we have time together. I mean, all right. I mean, I don't want to send everybody off, um, feeling really bad. So we'll talk for a few minutes because I always hate to end an auction on such a low note because I don't want anybody being triggered or, um, you know, maybe needs to talk and there's no one there for them to talk to. So, Ro, just talk for a second before we get out of here. Always text me, call me. I'm always here. And I'm always willing to talk about them. That's right, Roland. He's watching over even a three-month-old baby is watching over that family. His spirit is watching over that family. And there's always, um, there's always a caretaker in heaven that takes care of the children in your family. So there's always some guardian angel or somebody in your family looking all over all the children that have passed in your family. I've heard of children coming back and t talking about all the puppies that they were with. I know that sounds crazy, but. Who who knows what God has in store for us up there? That's I know right. the gold. Hi, Random. Hello. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Random. Um, you came in on such a sad note, but um, all the time, God is good, Mike. Oh, yeah. I w I would love to send a card for sure. Let me make myself a note so when I go to the post office tomorrow, I can stick one in the mail. They've got some real pretty ones. I'll send her one. So, um, yes, if anybody um, does feel the need to send a card or something, yeah, um, yeah, we can get it to her, and that would be great. That's right, Cinnamon. Oh, thank you, Random. Um, we appreciate you coming in right when you did and blessings are always welcome. Yes, indeed. That's for sure, Rose, for sure. Okay, Susan, that's probably a good idea. I mean, I know those things as doesn't sound like it would be something that would um, help the parents get through initial pain, but it really does because they want answers. So those answers actually help put them on that grieving path, whether it's good or bad. It does, it does get you past that angry and set you on the path for true grieving and acceptance. Nobody, nobody has the right to tell you how long 
or how That's short. Why I know that uh, always saying three years is uh, anything over three years is considered abnormal grieving BS. I always hated when teachers said that. It's like, no, <laughs> that just doesn't, um, no. You know, if you still can't get out of your bed after three years, then yes, maybe you need to um, some grief counseling. But um, there's there's no set time for anybody to grieve. You you go through the stages in your own time, and you don't always go through them in the order the textbook says you should go through the grieving right. stages. That's right. I just like to to see everybody get past that anger stage but that anger stage is necessary in order to get past those other stages or to get to those other stages of grieving everybody's different everybody handles it differently some get mad at god and that's right rose no you're right cindy a septic baby should not have been sent home i, I just don't understand how they missed it how did they miss it? How did they mistake it for a cold? Uh, or did he have a cold also, which made them stop looking for other things? But exactly, Susan, my, my father died in 1970, and I still grieve every day. I never stop thinking about him. Mm -hmm. Doesn't stop me from living my life, but in the beginning it did. I 12 years old and losing your father, it's its hard to get yourself out of bed for quite a while. My brothers were killed on a motorcycle, both of them together. I grieved for oh, years. I still grieve over them. It's just in a place now. It's a different place. Right, exactly. Um, yeah, it's... and I, That one always blows my mind every time we talk about that one that... I, I don't know how Ro even talks about it sometimes. I don't can't know. even imagine. It was so painful losing my sister. So it just, every time she talks about losing her two brothers, I just want to like cry every time. And that was after losing a brother two years before that. Three yeah. brothers. Three brothers total. I mean, you were the you and your sister were the only ones left after that, right? Yeah, I have one brother left. I have four brothers. And oh, that's left. right. You 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 do have the one brother. Oh, he probably hope he's not listening. He's gonna say, "Don't send me up the river yet, Cindy." <laughs> Don't worry, he's not listening. I know they. Sh yeah, exactly, Cynthia. How did they miss an intestinal problem? I, I guess it just depends on what it was as to how fast it came on, but. If he was septic already, that didn't happen quickly then. I mean, sepsis doesn't happen that quick. So it had been going on for a, a, a little bit of time. I just can't believe they didn't find that, though. No, absolutely not. Um. Wow, 33 years ago. So you were half your mother's age when she passed. See, that, that kind of always freaked me out a little bit, too, when I started um, nearing my father's age because my father died from, at 36, he died from a massive coronary. He had a major heart attack at 35 years old. No, 36 years old. So when I started getting close to his age, you know, I was freaking out about it. I was really worried. But now at my age, when Thank I think, Dana. Thanks, honey. And and here I am now at 65, just really mourning that he never got to see his grandchildren, very few none of his grandchildren. Um, there, he had no grandchildren or anything. Of course, at 36, he didn't have any grandchildren. So, you know, I know he sees them from where he's at, but he never got to meet any of his grandchildren. And I think, why did I get to be 65 and he didn't? He never even 
live to see 40. I mean, that's such a short life. So, um, you were lucky that we had them for the, the 36 years that we did, but you just can't help but think about it. Oh, God, Susan. Oh, that's such a devastating way to lose somebody, such a senseless way. I mean, it might as well be murder. I mean, it really is murder. Which, I know that's not a YouTube word you're supposed to use, but in this case, they'll have to get over it. Wowza. No, it doesn't sound corny at all. I feel that mm -hmm. same way about my father. I what I miss the most, though, what I miss the most about my mom, we would lay on the bed sometimes for hours talking about stuff. Now, with her hearing the way it is, we can't. We just, I mean, her mind is still wonderful. It's just she can't hear anymore. And it's like, I don't have that. I don't have that time with her. It, it's, I always feel like I'm yelling at her because I have to raise my voice. And it's very, I miss my mom. I really do. I miss my mom. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. And I'm so blessed to have her in this next room. She'll poke her head in, give me a kiss, bring me a cookie. It's, it's like... I just love her and I don't know what I'm going to do. She just turned 90. I don't know what I'm going to do when, when she goes home, but I'm sure I'll be devastated. Yeah. You know, I will be there. Bro. I will be there. Okay. So let's end on a, um, End on a happy note. Sneeze. Let's see. Ninety-three. My grandmother was ninety-eight. Cinnamon. So almost made it to that hundred mark. I don't know that I want to make it to a that old unless I am physically fit. If I can still um, walk out to check the mail. And um, I still know what day it is, maybe, but I would I not. Wish it more. I wish it'd sit on the porch and, you know, yeah. but she's just happy in the house. And she, the thing that the most important to me is she's safe. She's very safe here with me. Right, right. And I guess, you know, yeah. people yeah. That, that live to 100 are pretty healthy. So <laughs> she's my mama. And she yeah. keeps me young, too. Between her and Samantha, it's, you know. Uh, my grandmother was really healthy too, but I think what finally caused her to give up was she got dementia towards the end there. And I think that's when she kind of gave up on life and decided it was time to go because she was pretty healthy. No, my mom's fit as a fiddle. I love her brain. It's not as, not as sharp as when I was little and grown up, but I mean, she is so... <laughs> Uh, Ours isn't either, Ro. <laughs> no, she won't do that. She will not. She 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 gets on. I mean, it's for probably close to two years now. She's used to you. You know, she goes on YouTube and she loves to Facetime. She calls me from downstairs Facetime. I said, "Will you not call me Facetime, ma? <laughs> and what are you calling me from downstairs? <laughs> Just call up the stairs." She's FaceTiming you. That that probably means she really, really is wanting to see you at that moment. So. But she just she won't type. She won't text. She doesn't want to learn how to text. She can go and teach her how to voice text. Telegram. <laughs> but she will not learn how to text. Teach her how to voice text. Maybe that'll. No, right. I'd open up a can of worms. I'd, I'd be afraid. Are <laughs> so you afraid that she'd be texting you all like the you, time? I'm just answering one of your texts, Cindy, and you got 10 more in there because you're talking them. And I'm thinking, I can't even That's why them. I finally called you because I said, you know, um, we're going to be like texting for hours here. So that's why we. That's why I called you earlier. <laughs> Because I knew it was going to get my get the story across. It was going to be a lot of text. I will say that Jesus is Lord. God loves you. And God loves you. He does. I had like 15 things to tell you. So that's why there was so many. And I love you. And please be blessed. We'll see you on Friday.
I don't know if I'm going to have anything Friday, but we will see you on Friday because Cindy does. I definitely am going to have stuff for Friday. Um, I love you all. Thank you so much for all you do. Yes. So, yes, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. And watch for a post. I will start posting. I'm trying not to send as many emails to clog up everybody's email. So I'm starting to put posts up. So watch for posts. They will tell you um, whose channel we're going to be on and what time. So look for those rather than the emails. I will still occasionally send an email, but I'm trying to do maybe once a week instead of three times a week. So just watch for those posts. And I will usually try and put them up the day before and the day of. And you should be able to find those when you go into your community tab. If you're subbed to me or to Row when we post, you should be able to find them in your community tab. Mike, don't be a stranger. I've been missing you. Absolutely, Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike, Mike. Oh, <laughs> my bro. My little bro. Yes, I hope you're feeling better, Mike. We need to um, we need to have a three-way call here soon so we can all catch up on everything, Mike. Hundred and two, wow, cinnamon. Let me know if you need anything either or two, Mike. Good night, Bird. Love you, Bird. <laughs> you're the number one pissy one. Is that what you're saying, Mike? No, you're not. You try to be, but you're not. All right. Let's get off of here. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you over on Roberta's channel um, Friday at 8.30. Excuse me. 8.30. Right. And then um, Elizabeth and Jackie, my sister Jackie, will be selling on Jewelry Nurse on Sunday. And, of course, Ro and I will be selling on Jewelry Nurse on Saturday, 7.30, both Saturday and Sunday, 8.30 on Friday. So we will see you all then, Ro. It's your channel, so if you want to take Be her out. everybody. Love you more than my luggage. We're going. <laughs> Except for that Gucci stuff. Except for the Gucci. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Good see night, all. Love you guys. Thank you, Susan. Blessings. <laughs>